to see the fulfillment of this uh, divine plan kuona kutimia kwa maono kwa mipango hii ya kiungu because within the divine plan of god kwa sababu ndani ya mipango ya kiungu ya mungu the intent of man is revealed ile mawazo ya mwanadamu yanafunuliwa and the course of a man is established na sababu ya mwanadamu inaanzishwa and the man will have a reason to rejoice na mtu atakuwa na sababu ya kufurahia look unto god mwangalie mungu look unto jesus mtazame yesu he has what is best for you yuko na kile ambacho ni kizuri chako one day in the presence of god siku moja uweponi pa mungu he can change your 40 years yaweze kubadilisha miaka yako 44 only wise people know that watu tu wenye hekima wanajua hiyo In the presence of God we may be seated. Thank you Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you praise and worship team. I want you to put your hand together and appreciate praise and worship to him. Nataka uweke mikono pamoja wapongeze wanakundi ya kusifu na kuabudu. They are trying their best. Wanajaribu kila wawezalo. And we thank God. Na tunamshukuru Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Nasema hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. I thank God for everyone in the house. Nashukuru Mungu ni kwa ajili ya kila mmoja nyumbani. Those of you by the grace of God, you made it to be here. Wale ambao kwa neema ya Mungu umefaulu kufika hapa. We thank God for you. Tunashukuru Mungu kwa ajili yenu. And even those who have not been able to make it today. Hata kama kuna wale ambao hawajafanikiwa kufaulu kufika siku ya leo. We pray that they are going to be free. Tunaomba ya kwamba wanaenda kuwa huru. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Um last Thursday I encourage people to tell people to come. Alamisi iliyopita nilitia watu moyo nikawaambia kwamba watie wengine moyo waje because of the service that we did on the other service about the evil uh, padlocks kwa sababu ile ibada nyingine tuliyoifanya ibada ya kufuli za kiovu that service was a foundation ibada hiyo ilikuwa ni msingi so i encouraged uh, a lot of people that participated in that service to be available today kwa hivyo nina tia moyo wale ambao walikuwa katika ibada hiyo wawe siku ya leo um 
Ever since I got saved, tangu niokoke, there is no day that I just sat there in the house. Hakuna ruhusi kwamba niliketi pale nyumbani. And I begin to say whether I will go to church or I will not go. Na nikaanza kusema kama nitaenda kanisa ama hapana. I don't know maybe my salvation is different with the nowadays salvation. Sijui pengine wokovu wangu ni tofauti na wokovu wa siku za leo. In those days when I got saved, siku hizo nilipookoka, I was a Catholic. Nilikuwa mkatoliki. And in fact a leader in Catholic church. Na kwanza nilikuwa kiongozi katika kanisa la Katoliki. And I was very deep in the things of Catholicism. Na nilikuwa kwa undani sana na vitu vya kikatoliki. And the 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 knowledge of that dimension or that ministry or that church denomination entered in my heart. Na maarifa ya dini hiyo yakaniingia moyoni. It was not easy to sit just in the house without going to church. Haikuwa rahisi mimi kuketi tu nyumbani pasi na kwenda kanisani. So I got saved when I am a Catholic. Ivo niliokoka nilipokuwa mkatoliki. And even when I got saved hata nilipookoka I used to attend two services now. Nilikuwa nikihudhuria ibada mbili. These Pentecostal services they used to do like at 10 like now. Hizi ibada za Kipentecoste zilikuwa zikifanyika kama sasa. So I used to rise up in Catholic church. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa natumika nilikuwa naamka na raukia Katoliki. Yes I'm born again. Ndio nimeokoka. But that thing was inside of me. Lakini hicho kitu kilikuwa ndani yangu. So I used to rise up and go there. Kwa hivyo nilikuwa na rauka na naenda kule. And worship the first service. Na ninaabudu kwa ibada ya kwanza. Then after that I now joined the Pentecostal I, at 10. Ivo baada hiyo na naunganika pamoja na Kipentecoste. And I stay under the teaching. Na naketi chini ya mafundisho. Until the pastor finish everything. Hadi mchungaji akamaliza kila kitu. We gather the chairs. Tunasanya viti. We used to worship under the tree. Tulikuwa tunaabudu chini ya mti. And we didn't have any instrument. Na tulikuwa na chombo chochote. The thing that was playing for music at this uh, plastic. Kitu uh, ambacho kilikuwa kinachezwa kwa muziki ni hivi vyombo vya plastiki. The carry water. Hivi hizi ndoo. So people play the, the, as a drum. Kwa hivyo watu wanacheza kama ngoma. Because the church was very poor. They don't have ability to buy even a drum. Kwa sababu kanisa haikuwa hata na uwezo wa kununua ngoma. There was a very old drum of a round like this. Kulikuwa na ngoma ya mviringo kama hivi. Which was made from the skin of the animal ambao ulikuwa umetengenezwa kutoka katika ngozi ya ngombe so somebody was playing it kwa hivyo mtu alikuwa akiigonga so like early in the morning they have to put on the sun kama asubuhi na mapema lazima uweke katika jua when you see that thing in the sun you know there is a service today unapoona hiki kitu katika jua unajua kwamba kuna ibada leo the place of worship was all built sehemu ya kuabudu haikuwa imejengwa in catholic church in those days katika kanisa la katholiki siku hizo there is a big tree i don't know how you call it kulikuwa na mti mkubwa sijui mnauitaje that tree has a fruit is very big mti huo una matunda ni mkubwa sana you can carry the, 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 the fruit and sit on it unaweza kabeba tunda na ukaketi juu yake even in primary school where it was hata katika shule ya msingi nilipokuwa there was no chairs hakukuwa na viti those are the things we used to sit on Is ndo vitu tulikuwa tunatumia kuketia in our days katika siku zetu look at somebody and tell somebody in our day angalia mtu ambia mtu kwa siku zetu in our day siku zetu things were not better the way they are today mambo hayakuwa mazuri jinsi yalivyo leo and in that hard circumstances na katika hizo hali ngumu i received jesus nilimpokea yesu and i used to go to church na nilikuwa nikienda kanisani pentecostal church kanisa la after i finish catholic service and i stay in the pentecostal teaching until they transformed my inner person hadi wakabadilisha utu wangu wa ndani then i decided na nikaamua i will not just come out from catholic church ya kwamba sina tutoka nje ya kanisa la katoliki i must seek to help them lazima nitafute kuwasaidia so i didn't run away from catholic kwa hivyo sikukimbia katoliki because when i was in nairobi kwa sababu nilipokuwa in in cathedral or pray, uh, around there uh, 
on your way to Dika. Katika kanisa la cathedral kule ukielekea Dika. I was in the position to lead the service. Nilikuwa katika nafasi ya kuongoza ibada. So that's the time I got saved. Kwa hivyo ndio wakati ambapo nilipata kuokoka. Are you listening to me? Je, unanisikia? Those are our days. Hizo ni siku zetu. When I receive Jesus. Nilipompokea Yesu. I don't know about you. Sijui wewe. Nobody gave me money. Hakuna mtu aliyenipa pesa. So that I can go to church. Ili kwamba niende kanisani. Nobody paid my transport. Hakuna mtu alipa nauli yangu. And nobody visited me. Na kuna mtu alinitembelea. To encourage me to come to church. Nilitia moyo niingie kanisani. No, when I got saved. Kwa hivyo nilipokoka. I wanted to know God. Nilitaka kumjua Mungu. I had a passion for Christ. Nilikuwa na msukumo wa Kristo. But I didn't know how. Lakini sikujua ni jinsi gani. So I decided. Kwa hivyo nikaamua. To meet myself. Kujitolea mimi mwenyewe. Even in Catholic church. Hata katika kanisa la Katoliki. Inside I'm born again. Ndani nimeokoka. But I go to lead the people in the church. Lakini naenda kuongoza watu kanisani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that I'm giving you a testimony because I see some empty chairs. Kwa hivyo ninawapa ushuhuda kwa sababu naona viti ambavyo viko bure. There are so many people I know by names they are not here. Na kuna watu ambao naojua wengi kwa majina ambapo hawako hapa. I don't know why people are guessing if Sanda will be in the church or will not be in the church. Na si kwa nini watu wanabadilisha kama Jumapili atakuwa kanisani ambapo hapana. I wonder what type of salvation people have received. Na sangani aina gani ya wokovu hii ambao watu wako nayo? And this type of salvation. Kaya aina hii ya wokovu. You can not amount to anything. Awezu kainua kitu. Salvation you have to pay the price. Wokovu lazima ulipie gharama. If you are not ready to commit yourself. Kama uendi kujitolea, you will never see the greatness of God. Utaiona ukuu wa Mungu. Salvation is a commitment. Wokovu ni kujitolea. You have to commit yourself. Lazima ujitolee. You have to sacrifice yourself. Lazima ujitolee wewe mwenyewe. You deny some things. Ujikanyime vitu fulani. And you choose some things. Na uchague vitu fulani. And by choosing a certain dimension Na of salvation. Kwa kiwango fulani cha wokovu. You have to know you will lose some things. Lazima ujue kwamba utapoteza vitu fulani. There is a certain life. Kuna aina fulani ya maisha. That you have to drop. Amaye fawa for you to tap the spiritual life. Kwamba unya If you are not willing to drop it, you will never become what God wants you to become. It's a battle. So in our days, kwa hivyo siku zetu, nobody gave me money. Hakuna mtu aliyenipa pesa to pay my fare. Kulipa nauli yangu. And we used to walk in a distance. Na tulikuwa tukitembea msafari ndefu. In one day, kwa siku moja, I can join in many services. Ninaweza unganika na ibada nyingi. These things of salvation, hizi vitu za wokovu, entered in my heart. Zikaingia moyoni mwangu. To that level, mpaka katika kiwango hicho, that after I finish our service, amacho tu baada ya kumaliza ibada yetu, when I am going home, ninapoelekea nyumbani and i hear a place where people are clapping their hands na nisikie mahali watu wanapiga makofi yao i want to join again ninaenda na unganika nao tena that's how i lived even of jesus nilishi i joined many times niliunganika na ibada nyingi let's talk about overnight wacha tuzungumzie kuhusu usiku i attend overnight meeting niliunganika na mikutano ya mikesha ya usiku by 5 pm kwa saa moja za jioni I sit there Nimeketi pale I'm waiting a meeting that will start by 10 Ninaongojea ibada itakayoanza saa 4 za usiku And I will be there Na nitakuwa hapo That's how I lived Hivyo ndivyo jinsi niliishi Sacrificial life Maisha ya kujitolea Nobody begged me to go to church. Hakuna mtu alinifanya nikapenda kanisa There was no encourager Hakukuwa na mtu akutia moyo Today you have encourager. Leo mko na mtu wa kutia moyo. Today mwono. somebody can pay your transport. Leo mtu anaweza kalipa nauli yako. The place where you are sitting is comfortable. Sema ambapo meketi ni pa para. And those services I'm talking about. Na hizo ibada ninazozungumzia was dry services. Zilikuwa ibada zilizokauka. There was no anointing of the Holy Spirit. Hakukuwa na upako wa Roho Mtakatifu. Most of the preachers wahubiri wengi who, who led some of us to Christ. Ama wali tuongoza wengine wetu katika Kristo. They were calling the demon as a Holy Spirit. Walikuwa kiita pepo kama Roho Mtakatifu. Most of them were blind spiritually. Wengine wao walikuwa vipofu kiroho. One day I was in that service. Siku moja nilikuwa kwa ibada hiyo. And the woman was possessed with a demon. Na mwanamke alikuwa amemili kiwa na mapepo but they were clapping their hands lakini walikuwa wakipiga makofi surrounding the person wakimzingira yule mtu dancing 
wakicheza that the holy spirit has come ya kwamba roho mtakatifu amekuja they did that walifanya hivyo almost like 30 minutes kama dakika 30 and that happened na kuna kitu kilifanyika Then I told them stop. Na nikawaambia acheni. And I laid my hand on the person. Nikaonyesha mkono wangu kwa yule mtu. I told the pastor this is a demon. Nikaambia mchungaji kwamba hili ni pepo. Come out in the name of Jesus. Toka katika jina la Yesu. She got down and kept quiet. Akaketi chini akanyamaza. And we called her. Na tukamuita. She rose up and began to lie like. Akainuka na kaanza kufanya hivi. And from that day. Na kuanzia siku hiyo. Is when that pastor started giving me microphone. Ni siku hiyo mchungaji yule alianza kunipa kipaza sauti. It was in the middle meeting. Ilikuwa katika ibada ya katikati. We, we used to rotate in houses. Tulikuwa tukizungumuka tukizunguka manyumbani. And I'm talking about the village not in town. Na zungumzie kuhusu vijijini si hapa mjini. In the village. Kule vijijini. So that's how I lived. Kwa hivyo hivyo ndio jinsi niliishi. I wonder the version that people have received nowadays. Na shangana wokovu ambao watu wamepokea siku za leo. That even Sunday you Am- plan to do your things. Amaye hata Jumapili unapanga kufanya mambo yako. Look at this. I am becoming your spiritual father in this ministry. Angalia hii inafanyika kwa baba wako akiroa katika huduma hii. And I'm showing you perfect examples. Na ninakuonyesha mifano timilifu. That you need to follow. Amaze yafaa ufuate. See, I have some things that bring money to me today Tesa, and I I pack it. Tesema kuna mambo ambayo yangeleta pesa kwangu leo lakini nimeiweka kando. I tell the driver come to church. Niliambia dereva kwamba nje kanisani. Look at that. Angalia hiyo. If it were you. Kama ingekuwa ni wewe. Oh, we need money. You know my school children, my family. Bana tunahitaji pesa kwa kwangu asubuhi. Even me I need money. Hata pia mimi nahitaji pesa. In fact I believe I need money more than you. Hakika naamini hata ninahitaji pesa zaidi yenu. Yes, because I have many needs. Lakini kwa sababu nina mahitaji Maybe you are looking for your school fees. Pengine unaangalia karo yako ya shule. I'm looking for the church in Nairobi. Lakini mimi ninaangalia kanisa kule Nairobi. I'm looking for the crusade that is coming. Naangalia mkutano wa dhari utao. I'm looking for all minister to bring them. Naangalia wale wa huduma ni waleke. I'm looking to pay bills of my people. Naangalia kulipa bills za watu wangu. All over this country. Ndani ya nchi yote. I have many people that I'm standing and I'm carrying on my shoulders. Niko na watu wengi ambao nimesoma na nimewabeba mabegani mwangu. So for me to maybe to make it. Kwa hivyo ni kwamba mimi nikafanikishe. I have to commit myself to God. Nyakati zote lazima nijitolee kwa Mungu. Because with God. Kwa sababu na Mungu. We shall make it. Tutafanikiwa. I said with God. Nasema na Mungu. We will make it. Tutafaulu. So don't make a choice a decision whether I will go to church on Sunday or not. Kwa hivyo usifanye maamuzi ya kwamba kama nitaenda kanisani Jumapili ama hapana. You have somebody to encourage you today. Uko na mtu akukutia moyo siku ya leo. Your services are full of the Holy Ghost. Ibana zako zimejaa uwepo wa Roho Mtakatifu. You are sitting in a comfortable zone. Umekaa katika sehemu ya starehe. The ministers are ministering to you as spiritual eyes open. Wahuduma wanakufuana kuhudumia wakati macho ya kiroho yamefunguka. And you una lega lega tu pale pale una lega lega tu of your view. Amina. Ati unabatisha ati sijui nimeenda kufua, nimeenda kufua. Listen. Oh ladies ambao mnafuafua manguo huko nje ati, ati ndio kazi. Sunday is kuacha kwa ajili umeendelea kufulia mtu. Kama umeacha kufua, are you listening? Umeacha kufua umekuja hapa kwa sababu umeacha kufua sasa huna pesa. Niambie nitakulipa. Kuja kwa ibada au pay you because of service. Lakini usiende kufua. Mnanielewa? I am serious. Utaki kusema ndio mtu mmoja ananasema. Shame kabisa. Shame of you. You don't want to say amen. Amtaki kusema amina. Why? Kwa nini? When stupidity is happening in the church. Wakati upumbavu unafanyika kanisani. How do you take it? Ni jinsi gani utatambua? Do you think people are guessing to lead the churches? Unadhani watu wanabahatisha kuongoza kanisa? If you are working for Muindi kama unatembea unafanyia muindi kazi and you are free on sunday na uko huru jumapili and they are telling you that if you don't come on sunday we will not pay you na nakwambia kwamba usipokuja jumapili tusikulipe come to this church i will pay you njo hapa kanisani nitakulipa eh hey. come to the church njo kanisani wao unafikiria unanishinda kulipa wewe Nimekuwa hapa polisi polisi moja aliniambia eh hey, yeye anajua mnaeka tu hamwesi nyinyi mnajifanya pasta nilimwambia nitakulipa I will pay you hata pesa yako kama polisi ya kuchukua loan mzima mwaka mzima mimi naweza kuilipa one month nikupatie na hata uwezi kopa ukapewa hiyo I can pay you So si kunifanyia michezo hii mambo ya Mungu si michezo Hallelujah So I'm just encouraging you kwamba kama wewe ni mtu wa kutembea wewe ni mtu wa nini? 
ukitafuta watu wa kufulia nguo na wanakurundikia Jumapili wanasema siku hiyo ndio wanataka uvue ndio hiyo kazi imepatikana mwambie sasa nimekosa leo ni Jumapili naenda kuabudia Mungu kama itabidi lazima ufue ndio ukule basi kuja uabudu na utakula na utakunywa I am telling you this is the doors and I'm serious here. Ninaambia kwamba haya ni malango na niko niko na maanisha hapa. I am serious. Nina maanisha. I am not depriving your work. Mimi sidharau kazi yako. I am just giving you an advice. Ninakupa tu ushauri. If you can work on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Kama unatembea Jumatatu hadi Jumamosi. Sunday, Jumapili must be your special day. Lazima iwe ni siku yako ya kipekee. Commit yourself. Jitole. The Lord will set you free. Bwana atakuweka huru. Eh? Yeah. Ndio. Because a teacher who wants the student to pass exam. Kwa sababu mwalimu ambaye anataka mwanafunzi apite mitihani. They always be serious with the, with the class. Kila wakati huwa anamaanisha na lile darasa. That's why I'm giving that advice. Ndio maana ninawapa ushauri huo. Maybe you didn't hear me. Pengine hukunisikia. Let me repeat slow. Wacha nikarudia kwa upole. If you are walking around kama unatembea ukizunguka you are not employed aujeajiriwa and you are worshiper in this church na wewe ni mwabudu hapa kanisani now do this say i'm listening oga sasa fanye hivi sema nasikia kiongozi say me oga i'm listening sema oga nasikiliza now are you listening sasa unasikiliza if you are a member in this church kama wewe ni mshirika hapa kanisani you are not employed aujeajiriwa and you walk around to get something to do na unazunguka kupata kitu cha kufanya on monday tuesday wednesday jumatatu jumanne jumatano and it happened that if you walk on sunday na inafanyika kwamba ukitembea jumapili is when the door is open ndio wakati mlango unafunguka i give you the keys and padlock na kupa kifu, nilikupa kifungua na kufuli close that door funga huo mlango the door of sunday mlango wa jumapili and open it on the area of the ministry na fungua katika sehemu yako ya ibada ya huruma come and worship so uabudu if you did not get money kama ni kwa sababu haukupata pesa you refuse to get money ulikataa kupata pesa and you came here to worship na ulikuja hapa kuabudu and now you don't have money to something to eat because you came to worship na hivyo hauna kitu cha kula kwa sababu ulikuja kuabudu put your name somewhere there weka jina lako mahali fulani pale ai dr tayo mimi tayo nitalipa pesa zako i will pay you nitakulipa and when i start paying you na nikaanza kukulipa if i pay you 200 nikikulipa 200 god will pay me 200000 mungu atanilipa 200000 because you are not working for me are you worshiping me kwa sababu unifanyi kazi je unaniabudu you are worshiping him unamwabudu yeye so i'm just telling him kwa hivyo ninamwambia I am just telling God. Naambia tu Mungu. This your servant. Ya kwamba huyu mtumishi wako. He doesn't have anything to eat. Hana chochote cha kula. It is only today. Ni leo tu. That the door is open for her. Ndio mlango umefunga kwa ajili yake. Father, baba, do something for her. Fanya kitu kwa ajili yake. I will receive money. Nitapokea pesa. And I will pay you. Na nitakulipa. I'm encouraging you. Ninakutia moyo. Don't miss the services. Usikose ibada. Because you went to look for job. Kwa sababu uliena kutafuta kazi. You will never rise anything. Hautawahi inua chochote. Any person in this life who is serious. Mtu yote katika maisha haya ambaye anamaanisha. And they are worshipers. Na ni mwabudu. They don't serve on Sunday. Huwa hawapambani Jumapili. They don't. Hawapambani. Serious Christians. Mkristo ambaye anamaanisha. You will never see them working on Sunday. Hautawahi waona wakifanya kazi Jumapili. Huh? So ask your neighbor what type of salvation did you receive? Kwa hivyo uliza jirani yako aina gani ya kofu iliyopokea? What type? Aina gani? Where you need an encourager? Wakati unahitaji mtu comforter, mtu akutia moyo. When I used to be here Mombasa I used to worship Dr. Lai nilipokuwa hapo Mombasa nilikuwa nikiabudu kwa kanisa la Bishop Lai. And I lived in every day. Na nilikuwa nikiishi kule Navy. So, that place, kwa hiyo sehemu, when I started HBC, the home cell meetings. Nilipoanza ibada za kinyumbani, I used to lead people to Christ. Nilikuwa nikiongoza watu kwa Kristo. And I ask matatu people to bring matatu here na, at na, the gate. Na uliza watu wa matatu walete matatu pale mlangoni. And we bring all the people full there in matatu. Na, na nilete watu ambao wamejaa pale kwa matatu. And I used to pay matatu. 
na nilikuwa nikilipa matatu to carry all these people to dr lai kubeba hawa watu wote kuwapeleka kwa lai that is where the navy started having a problem with me huo ndio wakati ambapo wanajeshi wa navy walianza kuwa na shida nami they told me you are gathering people to go to pentecostal church who are going to worship here inside waliniambia unabeba watu kuwapeleka katika kanisa la kipentecost nani anaenda kuabudu hapa one day i was arrested there siku moja nilitiwa ndani kule because of that kwa sababu ya hiyo Do you know why I how I had many many officers who are friends in navy here? Je unajua ni kwa nini niko na maafisa wengi ambao ni marafiki pale navy? The gospel ni injili. Yeah. Dio. The gospel injili. <laughs> the gospel. So, I want to tell you don't plan anything on sunday kwa hivyo nataka niwaambie msipange kitu jumapili or you want me to reveal some things in there ama nataka nifunue vitu fulani hapo i will start um bible training i believe uh, is called what bible study nitaanza mafundisho ya biblia on sunday jumapili we we'll put in first service tutaiweka kwa ibada ya kwanza so that so that so that Yeah, so that the preaching will come after you have listened to the teachings. Ili kwamba mahubiri atakuja baada ya kusikiliza mafundisho. So you understand why I'm telling you this. Ili kwamba uelewe kwa nini nawaambia hii. You know you any money that you stop to go to church and you make it it will never help you. Una utafuta pesa na unaacha kuja kanisani haiwezi kukusaidia. That today I will not go to church. I Leo, want to go to look for money. Leo sitaenda kanisani naenda kutafuta pesa. That money will never help you. Hiyo pesa itawahi kusaidia. If you are born again. I don't mean everybody. If Ka- you are born again. Kama umeokoka si maanishi kila mtu. So if you are born again. Kama umeokoka. Are you stop going to church because you make a decision to go to work? Na unaacha kwenda kanisani kwa sababu umefanya maamuzi unaenda kazini. I don't mean those who are forced, those who are employed, you know. Simaanishi wale ambao wanasukuma wale ambao wameajiriwa. I mean you have a chance. Na maanisha una nafasi to come to church. Kukuja kanisani. But you choose not to. You are you are going to look for money. Lakini unachagua usije unaenda kutafuta pesa. If you get that money, that money will never help you. Ukipata hizo pesa hizo pesa hazitakusaidia. Now listen. Sasa kwa hivyo sikiliza. If that money will help you. Kama hiyo pesa itakusaidia. And serve you very well. Na ikutumikie ikutumie ikutumikie vizuri. It's a sign that you are not born again. Ni ishara ya kwamba haujaokoka. Ah, preachers are saying he's just saying no, I am teaching. Unasema no, hapana, ninafundisha. You want to know if you are born again? Unataka kujua kama umeokoka? There are things that I will help you to learn. Kuna vitu ambavyo nitakusaidia kufunza. And test yourself whether you are born again or not. Na ujipime kama umeokoka ama hapana. Hmm? That money can also serve you. If it serves you, you are not born again. Hizo pesa hizi kusaidia na kusaidia ujeokoka. Because a born again has a covenant. Kwa sababu mtu ambaye amezaliwa mara ya pili ako na agano. From today, you remember that covenant? Ya kwamba unakumbuka agano hilo? You remember the prayer you prayed? Unakumbuka ombi uliloomba? Do you remember one day praying from today, from today I will follow you? Eh? All the days, all the days of my life, of my life. <laughs> you remember that day? Unakumbuka siku hiyo? That's why the Bible said you are snared by the words of your mouth. Ndio maana Biblia inasema kwamba unafungwa kwa maneno ya kinywa chako. So I want you to encourage one another. Nataka utie moyo kila mmoja. Because these things are pushing you in. Kwa sababu mambo haya ambayo nawasukuma ndani. Very soon is going to bring laughter. Hivi karibuni anaenda kuleta kicheko. Inside your bedroom with your husband. Ndani ya chumba chako cha kulala na mumeo. Yeah, you be, you'll be happy. Ya kwamba utafurahia. You'll be laughing very soon. Utakao kicheka hivi karibuni. And you tell me thank you papa for slapping us in the church. Ndaniambia asante papa kwa kutupiga kofi kanisani. Now your slap has brought my salvation. Kwa hivyo sasa kofi lako limeleta uokovu wangu. Yes. So when I slap you in the church. Kwa hivyo ninapopiga kofi kanisani. Be very happy. Kuwa na furaha. I rejoice. Na ufurahie. Because it is a slap, a divine slap. Tell kwa sababu is a divine slap. Kwa sababu ni kofi ya kiungu. It's a divine slap. Ni kofi ya kiungu. Amen. Amina. So the reason why I say people should not miss this service. Kwa hivyo sababu ambayo nilisema watu wasikose ibada hii is because the last Sunday service was a foundation of what I'm building today. Ni kwa sababu ibada ya Jumapili iliyopita ni msingi wa kila ambacho anafanya leo. How many people here are masonry? Wangapi hapa ni wajenzi? 
Uh -huh. So when you lay a foundation today, and tomorrow, when you come with the material, do you lay on the top of stone after stone, stone after stone, or you jump some areas? Now, if you skip and leave a space, will that stone stand? Now, if you stick, skip, eh, lift it on, you don't put down. You now jump one stone. You put in the air. Will it stop, stand in the air? Thank you. Asante. Teachers, professional teachers. Walimu wale watajiriba. Where are you? Muko hapi. Nobody. Hakuna mtu. Professional teachers. Walimu wata wenye taluma ya walimu. When they are in class. Wakati muko drasani. And they address the students. Na wanautubia wanafonzi. Oh. We don't have them, eh? <laughs> Hatuna. Oh, hey. When you are in class. Wakati muko drasani. You are addressing your students. Wanautubia wanafonzi. My question is. So lilangu ni. If they come today, Kama wana kuja leo, and tomorrow they don't come, na kesho hawaji, and the other day they come, na kesho, siku wana and kuja, the other day they don't come, na siku hawaji, what happened to you in your heart? Nini na kufanya kia moyoni? You feel bad because uh, they will not perform well. They will not perform well. Awa tafanya vizuri. So a teacher will feel bad. Kwa hivyo mwalimu ataisi vibaya. Even working with them, they will not get encouragement. Because these people will not pass exams. That's what happened. So the teaching of last Sunday. Majority of you, you committed yourself. If you want to prove what I'm saying, I wanted to say, why don't you look at me and it will show you that what I'm saying is true. Because I'm teaching what is working. Yeah, I'm teaching what is working for my life and my family, and it's working for you. So, last Sunday was a foundation. Today, I wanted to build a whole house. And then, on next Sunday, I'll be roofing it. That's why, yeah, that's why the people that were in the service on last Sunday and around 60 people participated in an opening the padlock. Now, even if you are here and you didn't participate it, but those 60, I didn't want them to miss. Even you, is a good thing you came. It's okay. But those 60, I'm a focus for this ministry today. This service. And the next service. Do you know what the Lord told Gideon? Gideon had 32,000 members who follow him. And the Lord told Gideon. If you go with all these people. You will be defeated. Bring them, I will make a test for you. And I will choose those people that will go with you. And out of 32,000 people, the Lord chose 300 people. And he told Gideon, these are the people that he will go with. Remember, they were going against a very big army. The fight with God does not depend with the size. Vita ya mungu aitegemei kiwango ama kiasi. 
The numbers with Gideon were minor. Idadi na Gideon ilikuwa ni chache. 300. What? 300. All the other people told Gideon return them to the camp. Watu wengine wote bwana akamwambia Gideon kwamba warudisha katika kambi. They will not do good for you. Hawatafanya vizuri kwako. You see all of you sitting here. Unaona nyinyi nyota mlioketi hapa. In 5 years from now. Kwa miaka mitano kuanzia sasa. All of you you are going to be leaders. Nyinyi nyota mnaenda kuwa viongozi. Of the church that is going to be here. Kwa kanisa ambalo linaenda kuwa hapa. All of you. Nyinyi nyote. When I say all of you. Ninaposema nyinyi nyote. I mean the number like all of this. Na maanisha idadi kama nyinyi nyote. After 5 years from now. Baada ya miaka mitano kuanzia sasa. When I call the leaders. Wakati ninaita viongozi. I'm going to have people like this. Nenda kuwa na watu kama hawa. And all of them are going to be leaders. Na watu wote wanaenda kuwa viongozi. That means. Hii inamaanisha. The church is going to have a lot of people. Kanisa linaenda kuwa na watu wengi. It's going to have a lot of people. Linaenda kuwa na watu wengi. Read my lips. Soma kinywa changu. This church here, hii kanisa hapa, is going to become leading in Mombasa Likoni. Inaenda ina, inaenda kuongoza hapa Mombasa Likoni. Likoni is is going to take over Likoni Mtongwe everywhere. Inaenda kuchukua Likoni Mtongwe na kila mahali. Whether the devil like it or not. Kama ibilisi atapenda ama sipende. I Dr. Tayo has spoken. Mimi daktari Tayo nimezungumza. It's going to be like that. Inaenda kuwa hivyo. So, you people, that's why I'm serious with you. Kwa hivyo ninyi watu ndio maana ninamaanisha nanyi. Yeah, ndio. <laughs> we are going to have a lot of people. We are going to have what we call good problem. Tunaenda kuwa na kila ambacho tunaita shida nzuri. See. Tazama. In that particular time, kwa muda huo in this ministry here katika huduma hii hapa we are going to have sunday service there are going to be three tunaenda kuwa na ibada za jumapili zinaenda kuwa ibada tatu and all of them na ibada zote will be packed with a lot of people even standing outside itakuwa imejaa watu ambao hata pia wamesoma kule nje it's going to happen in your korokoro eyes unaenda inaenda kufanyika nda mbele ya macho yako mawili you will see it here utaiona hapa some of you you will go in the village wengine wenu mtaenda vijijini you will stay in the village mtabaki kule vijijini after two years baada ya miaka miwili you decide to come back in the city again mtaamua murudi tena hapa mjini you will see big buses standing there mtaona mabasi makubwa yamesoma pale nje robo solution for all mankind robo solution kwa watu wote Let me tell you something. Wacha niwaambie kitu. You see this my daughter. Unaona huyu binti wangu. I took her to secondary school in western part of. Nilimpeleka kule katika shule ya pili kule magharibi. And I told her. Na nikamwambia, if I come to pick you when you are closing. Nitakapokuja kuchukua wakati umefunga shule. I will come when I'm driving my own car. Nitakuja nitakapokuwa nikiendesha gari langu. Is it true? Je, ni kweli? Now, when she finish sasa alipomaliza I was driving her there and coming. Nilikuwa nikimpeleka kule na kumrejesha. So I want to repeat. Kwa hivyo nataka nirudie. If you have doubt in what I'm saying. Kama uko na shaka kwa kile ninasema. I don't want to guess what. Sitaki nibahatishe. This ministry huduma hii after 5 years. Baada ya miaka mitano leaders will be like all of you. Viongozi watakuwa kama nyinyi nyote hapa. Leaders will be like all of you. Viongozi watakuwa kama ninyi nyote hapa. And you know when I say leaders, unajua ninaposema viongozi like the people that are going to manage my hotels, all of them are leaders. Kama wale watu pia ambao wanaenda kusimamia hoteli yangu wote ni viongozi. People that are going to lead my my stand on the line of my business uh, transportation eh, business. Watu ambao wanaenda kusonga katika upande wangu wa usafiri biashara ya usafiri Do, uh, like uh, roads eh kama Business. barabarani kule biashara za barabarani in the office writing receipt and what what all of them are leaders katika afisi wakiandika marisiti be, wote be, ni viongozi be, because what i will be teaching here kwa sababu kila macho nitakuwa nafunza hapa a full package to Kila. lead the dimension of humanity itakuwa ni package kubwa ya kuongoza watu kuongoza uongo kwa watu spiritual kiro business kibiashara financial kifedha in every dimension katika kila kiwango i will be teaching here nitakuwa nikifunza hapa 
Do you know that I normally receive payment? Je unajua huwa napokea malipo? And people pay me to go and lecture them about business. Watu wananeno wananilipa niende kuwafunza kuhusu biashara. Do you think that I don't know? Je unadhani kwamba sijui? In fact the people that I teach kwanza wale watu ambao ninawafunza Uh, the professionals ni watu ambao wana tajriba even the title they give to me so hata, that i can share i don't know it hata ile mada ambayo wananipa ili kwamba nikashiriki hata sijui they know more than me wanajua zaidi yangu But when they look at me lakini wanaponiangalia they see i am supposed to teach them wanaona ya kwamba ninafaa kuwafunza I went to Nairobi one day. Nilienda Nairobi siku moja. Almost 85% of the people sitting under the sound of my voice. Zaidi ya 80% ya watu ambao walikuwa wamekaa chini ya sauti yangu. They were lawyers. Walikuwa ni wamahakimu. And doctors. Na madaktari. And professors. Na maprofesa sitting there. Wakiketi pale. Do you know sir we want you to talk to us explain to us this help us to understand this. Bwana tunataka tufunze utusaidie utueleze kuelewa hii. What they were telling me I don't know. Kile ambacho walikuwa kiniambia sijui. You know what I did? Je, unajua kile nilifanya? I called one of them and I say how did you pronounce this word? Nilimpigia simu mmoja nikamuuliza uliamwaje? I called one of them. I'm sitting with them. I didn't call that a phone. No, I say I called one of them. Nilimuita mmoja. Hey. And I asked them what do you pronounce this word? Nikamuuliza mbona unasemaje neno hili? Unatamkaje neno hili? And the professor pronounced it. Na professor akalitamka. You know why I called the person? Unajua ni kwa nini nilimuita yule mtu? Because I don't know how to pronounce it. Kwa sababu mimi sijui jinsi ya kuitamka. So I called him. Kwa hivyo nikamuita. Hello sir, professor Sonny so stand up. Bwana professor Plana, 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 si How do you pronounce this one? Jesus gano tamuka neno hili. And he pronounces very well. Na kalitamuka vizuri. And I told the people. Na nikamwambia watu. Everybody have you heard him? Kila mtu mmemsikia? Repeat what he has said. Rudia kile ambacho amesema. <laughs> Why? Because I don't know. Kwa nini ni kwa sababu sijui. But they look at me like I know. Lakini waliniangalia ni kama ninajua. So I used them kwa hivyo niliwatumia to get their knowledge kupata maarifa yao to teach them kuwafunza That's why the Bible says Diposo Biblia inasema You can do all things Waweza ukafanya vitu vyote through Christ kupitia kwa Kristo which strengthens you Amaya anakutia nguvu Eh hey, so so I did that So I'm going to teach people like that We are going to have different different people like that. Kwa hivyo ninaenda kufunza na ninaenda kuona watu wengi wa aina hiyo. Eh, so we are going to have a lot of people. Ili kwamba tunaenda kuona watu wengi. So hii mambo ya sijui leo niende kanisani sijui nini we baki baki tu namna hiyo na mambo hiyo. There was a, a woman one day kulikuwa na mwanamke siku moja in the service she used to serve the pastor's table. Katika ibada alikuwa akitumika kuhudumia meza ya mchungaji. And sometimes she remain home na wakati mwingine anabaki nyumbani until around uh, she is the one that comes in late ni yeye ndiye alikuwa anakuja amechelewa in fact she was the leader of women eh kikata alikuwa ni kiongozi wa wanawake she used to come on very late alikuwa akija amechelewa if you ask her why what are you doing ukimuuliza nini ulikuwa ukifanya she was settling my husband anasema nilikuwa nikimtuliza mume wangu look at that angalia hiyo on sunday service miriam You ibada Jumapili. You have a responsibility to go to the church. Uko na jukumu la kwenda kanisani. And you come late. Na unakuja umechelewa. Because you are busy settling. Kwa sababu ulikuwa una You know the, you know the Bible the Bible says we have to submit to our husbands in everything. Unajua Biblia nasema lazima tujenyekeze kwa wao wazetu. Which Bible are you reading? Biblia gani unasoma? Is that scripture you read it well? Kama hiyo hiyo fungu unasoma. He says submit wife submit to your husband in the Lord inasema kwamba wake ujinyekezeni kwa ume wenu katika bwana in the lord outside the lord bwana. outside the lord nje ya bwana hapana mm -mm. yokoro utavurugana it's only in the lord ni ndani tu ya bwana so that one is outside the lord kwa hivyo hiyo ni nje ya bwana everybody kila mmoja prepare yourself on sunday saturday evening jiandaeni jumamosi jioni if you want this church to get what you people you are looking here kama unataka hii kanisa ipate kile ambacho yenyewe watu mnatafuta hapa prepare yourself on saturday evening jiandaeni jumamosi jioni so that on sunday morning ili kwamba jumapili asubuhi by 8 sambili people like all of you are full here praying watu kama ninyi mmejaa hapa mnaomba You want seriousness? Je, mnataka kumaanisha? 
Don't start to wake up and prepare on Sunday morning. Usianza kujiandaa Jumapili asubuhi. Prepare Saturday evening. Jiandae Jumamosi jioni. And pray very well. Na uombe vizuri. And God will make sure that Sunday you are make it. Na Mungu atakisha kwamba Jumapili unafaulu. So those who didn't come Kwa hivyo wale ambao hawajakuja. to be in the service. Next service will be a Holy Ghost service. Watie moyo waje katika ibada. Ibada ijayo itakuwa ni ibada ya roho. It will be a, a service of the anointing. Itakuwa ni ibada ya kutiwa mafuta. Amen. It will be a prophetic and affirmation service. Itakuwa ni ibada ya kinabii na ibada ya kudhibitisha. Amen. Eh? Amen. Amina. I say amen. Nasema amina. It will be a prophetic and what? Affirmation service. Itakuwa ni ibada ya unabii na uthibitisho. Some of you what you are struggling? Watu wengine wenu kila macho kapambana. It will that thing will be broken. Baada ya ibada hiyo kuna vitu fulani vitavunjika. Next service. Ibada ijayo. It will be on Sunday. Itakuwa Jumapili. Look at somebody and tell somebody the Holy Ghost service. Angalia mtu ambie mtu ibada ya roho. Is the next coming. Ni ibada ambayo inakuja. Everyone that hear the sound of my voice. Kila mmoja ambaye anasikia sauti yangu. They will receive their prophetic word. Watapokea neno lao la kinabii. And affirmation. Na uthibitisho. And anointing over their life. Na upako juu ya maisha yao. And from that day. Na kuanzia siku hiyo. There are some things who will say thank you. Kuna vitu vitasema nashukuru. Some doors will open. Milango itafunguka. Some people will call you. Watu wengine watawapigia simu. Some will send good messages. So wengine watapokea ujumbe nzuri. Good things will happen to you. Mama mazuri atawafanyikia. Next Sunday. Ibada Jumapili ijayo. I call it roofing. Ninaita ibada ya kutia paa. So that's why I want to build today. Ndio maana nataka nijenge leo. So I have like 30 minutes. Kwa hivyo nina kama dakika 30 to deposit spiritual message in your heart. Kutia ujumbe wa kiroho ndani ya moyo wenu. Are you ready to receive? Je, mko tayari kupokea? I say are you ready to receive? Nasema mko tayari kupokea. So, kwa hivyo there are things we call Evil padlocks. Kuna vitu tunavyovita kofuli ya kiovu. Evil chains. Minyororo ya kiovu. And bloodline patterns. Na mifumo ama mitindo ya ya kijamii ya damu ya ukoo. Last Thursday we were here. Alamisi iliyopita tuliko hapa. And we saw how people inherit patterns. Na tuliona jinsi watu wana wana read zile mifumo how they continue from where their parents jinsi wanaendelea kutoka pale ambapo wazazi wao waliachia we saw tuliona how abraham jinsi ibrahimu in his family ndani ya jamii yake the continuation of the patterns kuendelea kwa zile mifumo marrying a barren woman kuoa mwanamke tasa and the son also marry a barren woman na tena pia mwana anaoa mwanamke tasa and the grandson also marry a barren woman na mjukuu pia anaoa mwanamke tasa it didn't happen to jacob just like that haikufanyike tu yakobo hivyo it happened because it is in the blood ilifanyika kwa sababu iko ndani ya damu all of you you are hearing me wengi wenu ambao mnanisikia there is a present situation you are fighting today kuna kuna hali ya kisasa ambayo unapigana nayo Look into your life what are you fighting Angalia katika maisha yako ni kipi ambacho unapigana nacho Present situation that is affecting you now Hali ya sasa ambayo inakuathiri sasa That thing that you struggle now with that today Hicho kitu ambacho unapambana nacho leo Which condition you are in that you are fighting today Ni hali gani ambayo uko ndani ambayo unapigana nayo leo Think about that when I speak. Tafakari kuhusu hilo anapozungumza. Now, put your eyes back. Kwa hivyo weka macho yako nyuma. In your family, katika jamii yenu. Do we have anybody that experience what you are experiencing? Je, kunaye ambaye alipitia kile ambacho unapitia? From your 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 father's house kutoka kwa nyumba ya baba yako your grandfather e babu yako coming this way ukija hivi have anybody within those people 
Arise up with the same challenge that you have. Je, kuna mtu ambaye alinuka katika watu wao na changamoto ambayo uko nayo? Think about it. Tafakari kuhusu hilo. Because I told you there are things that will not go because you are born again. Kwa sababu niliwaambia kuna vitu ambavyo haviwezi songa kwa sababu umeokoka. I need to lecture this ministry very well because this ni... is a, a foundational grounding message. Nataka nifundishe huduma hii vizuri kwa sababu hii ni ujumbe wa kiroho wa wa, wa mumki msingi. Salvation is in three dimension. Wokovu kwa katika viwango vitatu. The instant salvation wokovu wa moja kwa moja is the one that comes spiritual salvation ni ule wa ambao unakuja katika uokovu wa kiroho that you receive Jesus ambao unampokea Yesu and he become a lord and a savior over your life na anafanyika bwana na mwokozi juu ya maisha yako from that day you are saved kuanzia siku hiyo umeokoka whether you are baptized or not kama umebatizwa ama hapana if you pray that prayer ukiomba ombi hilo it's called sinner's prayer inaitwa maombi ya wenye dhambi the, the sinner's prayer is o- a repentance prayer ombi la mwenye dhambi ni ombi la kutubu so it's called a sinner's prayer kwa hivyo inaitwa ombi la mwenye dhambi So that prayer if you prayed it kwa hivyo hilo ombi kama uliliomba seriously kwa kumaanisha your spirit was revived roho yako ilifufuka are you together je tuko pamoja your spirit was connected back to god roho yako iliunganishwa kwa mungu when you are born in this life wakati ulizaliwa katika maisha haya you are born under the pattern of adam and eve ulizaliwa chini ya mfumo wa adam na hawa they fall fought short for the glory of god walianguka mbali na utukufu wa mungu so you are born when they are, have fallen kwa hivyo ulizaliwa kama umeanguka i want you to get listen carefully nataka usikilize kwa umakini i am not running anywhere sikimbi popote This I'm doing is going to promote my own life. Hii ambayo nafanya inaenda kuinua maisha yangu. So I have to teach you very well. Kwa hivyo lazima niwafunze vizuri. When you are born, wakati ulizaliwa, with your father and your mother. Na mama yako na baba yako, you are born under the pattern of Adam and Eve. Ulizaliwa chini ya mfumo wa Adam na Hawa. In Job 17 katika Ayubu 17 I beg in Job 14 nasema katika Ayubu 14 If you read from verse 1 ukisoma kuanzia mstari wa kwanza is a man born of a woman inasema kwamba mwanaume aliyezaliwa na mwanamke is of many problems you gonna sina masina matatizo mengi and he has a very short time to live na ko na maisha mafupi ya kuishi turn there let's read Job 14 Bibilia nasema mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke uh-huh. siku zake za kuishi si nyingi si nyingi mnanielewa naye na hujaa tabu naye amejaa tabu a man born of a woman mwanamume mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke do i have any man here je tuna mtu yote hapa that is born of a woman ama amezaliwa na mwanamke Do I have anybody today? Je, tuko na mtu hapa leo? That is born of a woman. Ambaye amezaliwa na mwanamke? You are here. Ndio uko hapa? Give me best. In Jesus name. Katika jina la Yesu. Thank you. Asante. Listen. Sikiliza. If you are here, kama uko hapa. This is what the scripture that you believe says hii ndio ile andiko ambayo unaamini nasema how many of you have the bible where you are ungapi mko na biblia pale mlipo thank you thank you thank you you have asante, the bible okay asante. jonathan jonathan stand up and read simama na usome from your own bible from that place kutokea kwa biblia yako katika sehemu hiyo read that job 14 soma hiyo ayub 14 i want everybody to hear that nataka kila mmoja asikie hiyo Oh you are not there. Wa huko pale. Eh. Job 14 verse 1. Ayubu 14 mstari wa kwanza. Eh, hey, there still is a The Bible says, uh-huh. a man that is born of a woman uh-huh. is of few days and full of trouble 
Have you heard that English? Jo mesikia Kiingereza hicho? A man that is born of a woman. Mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke is of but few days. Siku zake si nyingi. And he has many troubles. Na yuko na tabu nyingi. That is a pattern of Adam and Eve. Huo ni mfumo wa Adamu na Hawa. Somebody say Adam and Eve. Mtu sema Adamu na Hawa. A man born of a woman. Mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke. Is of few days. Ni wa siku chache. And 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 many troubles. Na taabu nyingi. Because he's born of a woman. Kwa sababu amezaliwa na mwanamke. You know why? Unajua kwa nini? It is a woman. Ni mwanamke. That cost the glory of God to disappear from this life. Ambaye alisababisha utukufu wa Mungu utoweke katika Adamu. So any man that is born of a woman. Kwa hivyo mwanadamu yeyote aliyezaliwa na mwanamke, his days are shortened. Siku zake si nyingi. And within those short period they will be here. Na ndani ya siku hizo chache ambazo atakuwa hapa, he say has many troubles. Inasema ya kwamba ana tabu nyingi. Reason why we have many problems. Sababu kwa nini tuna shida nyingi? Is because we were born of a woman. Ni kwa sababu tulizaliwa na mwanamke. A woman before he gave back to Adam or, or to any child that one we call a Cain. Mwanamke kabla amzae Kaini. She fell short of the glory of God. Alipungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu. And that's why in Romans chapter 3, about chapter 3, verse 23. Ndio maana katika kitabu cha Warumi 3:23, read it. Soma. For all have sinned. Maana wengi wametenda dhambi. Oh kwa sababu wote wamefanya dhambi Somebody say all have sinned na kupungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu na kupungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu They are shortened of the glory of God wamepungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu all wote Somebody say all mtu sema wote Ah you are not saying all how semi for all have sinned kwa maana wote wametenda dhambi. What is the name of this one? Jina la huyu ni nani? This one standing here. Huyu ambaye amesimama hapa. He has sinned. Is he a man? Ni mwanaume? He has sinned. Ametenda dhambi. You see that's that, that small boy there. Unaona yule kijana mdogo kule? He has sinned. Ametenda dhambi. Even the one madam you are carrying. Hata yule ambaye madam umembeba. He has sinned. Ametenda dhambi. I want to help you. Nataka niwasaidie. Somebody say all have sinned. Mtu sema wote wametenda dhambi. And they are short of the glory of God. Na wamepungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu. All have sinned. Wote wametenda dhambi. Why because they are born of a woman. Kwa nini ni kwa sababu wamezaliwa na mwanamke. If you are here, kama uko hapa. And you are not born of a woman. Na hujazaliwa na mwanamke. You are lucky. Wewe una bahati. Anyone who is born of a woman. Yeyote aliyezaliwa na mwanamke. You are under a problem. Uko chini ya shida. The Bible says short days. Biblia inasema siku chache. And big wahala. Na uko na shida nyingi. You are in trouble. Uko katika tabu. You know why I'm talking one word by one? Unajua ni kwa nini nazungumza neno moja baada ya nyingine? I want that information to sink in your heart. Nataka hiyo hiyo maelezo yenye ndani ya moyo wako. Today we have 7.8 billion people population in the world. Leo tuko na watu bilioni 7.8 kote Maybe there are more than that I don't know but the last time I did it. Pengine ni zaidi ya watu juu lakini mwisho nilipofanya. Billion population. Ni watu bilioni 7.8. Before the third person came in this life. Kabla mtu wa tatu aje katika maisha haya. Adam and Eve got shortened the glory of God. Adam na Hawa walipungukiwa na utukufu wa Mungu. So when they fall kwa hivyo walipoanguka when they started production ni wakati walianza uzao now they produced first man na hivyo kamzaa mwanaume wa kwanza when they are not in the glory of god wakati hawakuwa utukufuni pa Mungu so kwa hivyo all of them have fallen wengi wote wamepungukiwa all of human race 
wanadamu wote under the pattern of Abraham, Adam and Eve ndani ya mtindo ama mfumo wa Adam na Hawa the continuation kuendelea reproduction kuzaliwa people produce something like they have eh? they continue like that when they are already out of the praises of god watu waliendelea na uzao wakati wako nje ya utukufu wa mungu So, Kwa hivyo, what do we do? Tunafanya nini? A man born of a woman. Mwanaume aliyezaliwa mwanadamu aliyezaliwa mwanamke. Very... Siku zake si nyingi. And many troubles. Na taabu nyingi. And God looked at this and he saw there is no hope for this man. Na Mungu akamwangalia na akaona kwamba hakuna matumaini kwa mtu huyo. And now he said, Na hivyo akasema, Let me send my son. Acha nimtume mwanangu. To go and redeem them kwenda kuwakomboa so that the pattern of adam and eve will be broken ili kwamba mfumo wa adam na hao kavunjike and we start the divine pattern na tuanze mfumo wa kiungu that will lead them to eternity happiness and joy ambao utaongoza katika uzima wa milele na furaha and now he sent jesus na hivyo akamtuma yesu as a second adam kama adam wa pili that is why the first adam ndio maana adam wa kwanza fail alianguka the second adam adam wa pili did not fail hakuanguka Yeah. Ndio. So the first Adam, kwa hivyo Adam wa kwanza, when you are born with your parents, wakati umezaliwa na wazazi wako, you are born under the pattern of Adam and Eve. Umezaliwa chini ya mfumo wa Adam na Hawa. Now, that's why sasa hii ndio maana when Jesus is sent, Yesu alipotumwa, you are told to be born again. Uliambiwa ya kwamba uzaliwe tena because the first birth, kwa sababu ule kuzaliwa kwa kwanza, it leads you to death ina kuongoza kwa kifo so you need to be born again kwa hivyo yafaa uzaliwe tena so that you will live ndio posa uishi are you listening je unasikiliza so now first letter of john chapter 4 kwa hivyo barua ya kwanza ya yohana mstari wa mlango wa 4 now read verse 5 soma mstari wa 5 or you can look at chapter 5 verse 4 between the two for anything that is born of god overcomes the world yes i say you look at chapter 4 verse 5 or chapter 5 verse 4 around there you see it that's why i'm mentioning the words for anyone kwa maana kila kitu kilichozaliwa na Mungu huushinda eh. ulimwengu na huku ndiko kushinda kuushindako ulimwengu uh-huh. hiyo imani yetu now which verse is that ni waraka wa, wa kwanza wa Yohana 5 mstari wa 4 yeah 5 4 are you there yes. english please for whatever is born of god that is king james version somebody say whatever <laughs> you see, uh, this is it will help you to understand why Tayo always do practical prayers look at that whatever angalia hiyo now king james version sasa ile king james version is a bible that is interpreted directly from the hebrew language ni biblia ambayo imetafsiriwa moja kwa moja kutoka katika lugha ya kiebrania now listen to what it says kwa hivyo sikiliza kile inasema whatever is born of god kwa maana kile kilichozaliwa cha Mungu for whatever is born of god eh. overcometh the world overcometh the world and this is the victory that overcometh the world uh-huh. even our faith amen have you heard that jeu msikia hiyo whatever that is born of god chochote ambacho kimezaliwa cha Mungu what was born with the woman ni kile ambacho kilizaliwa na mwanamke is of short duration here ni cha muda mfupi hapa and many many problems na shida nyingi and that's why you are encouraged to be born again ndio maana unatia moyo uzaliwe tena and you are not going to be born with a woman this time na uende kuzaliwa na mwanamke mara hii you are going to be born of god unaenda kuzaliwa na Mungu and that's the power of the holy spirit hizo ndio nguvu za roho mtakatifu and that's why jesus overcame ndipo sasa yesu alikuja in the hand the womb of this 
woman called Mary. It is the power of the Holy Spirit. Um, was concealed and formed himself within the woman and he lived a very short time and also he died because he was born of a woman but because the seed was a divine seed he overcame the world and that's why the Bible says anything that is born of God will overcome this world. Why will this thing overcome? Because of the faith in Jesus. It is Jesus who overcame the world. So when you have Jesus, you must overcome the world. You don't understand what I'm saying. Let me remove my coat and deposit this message in you. When you receive Jesus you must overcome I say when you receive Jesus it is a must you overcome whether the devil like it or not you must overcome ah, you may be challenged today but the testing of today it doesn't mean that you are not overcome in fact the Bible says you are an overcomer I said you are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. You are an overcomer. Are you born of God? 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 Now hear me. Anything that is born of God. Are you the one of them? <laughs> Hey. I am one of them. I say I'm one of them. I must overcome. You must overcome. We must overcome. Whatever that is born of God, you have power to win the race. You have power to put down every demon. Anything that is born of God, under the sound of a voice, you cannot be stopped. You you are unstoppable. Ah! Whatever that is born of God overcomes the world. Hey. That is why you must be born again. So those people that tell you, hey, me, I know. So long as you love God. Oh, church is just church. I will just go to church, no problem. No, 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 no. It is not about church, it's just not about church. It's about the faith. The Bible says, what is it that overcomes the world? Even their faith. Even their faith. It is your faith that will overcome your challenges. It is your faith that will break chains. It is your faith. That we break chains. It is your faith. Don't break the evil patterns. Somebody shout out. You are fine to overcome. Anyone that is born of God. Anyone that is born of God. You may be young. You may be old. You may be a woman. You may be a man. You may be educated. Maybe not educated. You have money, you don't have money. Whether you live in Asia, you live in Africa, you live in America, you are an overcomer. You must overcome because of the seed of Jesus. The seed of Jesus will give you victory. Oh, oh, oh. Ah, 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 ah. Anything that is born of God overcome the world. 
that challenge that you are in hiyo changamoto uliyo ndani for many years kwa miaka mingi by the power of god kwa nguvu za Mungu overcome it utakushinda i say overcome it Nasema now ushinde. overcome it now ushinde sasa overcome it now ushinde sasa i release the anointing now to override every right in the name of jesus, jesus. Receive, it. Receive, it. receive it receive it pokea receive the anointing Pok- to override them pokea upako na ukajishinde the anointing to override them You are born of a woman. You have a short time to live. And many many problems. Many afflictions. Psalms 34. Wengine ni Zaburi 34. Verse 19. Uzuie ulimi wako na mabaya. Na midomo yako kusema hila. Pakalobo kute. Psalm 34 Zaburi 34 Are you there? Yes. Uh-huh. Psalm 34:19 uh. The Bible says Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Yes. But the Lord delivered him out of them all. Have you heard that? Psalms 34. Biblia yes. inasema verse 19. Mateso ya mwenye haki ni mengi, yeah. lakini Bwana umponya nayo yote. There are many affliction of the righteous. Ya kwamba kuna mateso mengi ya wenye haki. But the Lord deliver them from all. Lakini Bwana uponya umponya na yote. The Lord deliver them from all. Mungu umponya na yote. Some of you you are crying in your house. Wengine wenu mnalio manyumbani mwenu. You don't know what to do. Hamjui kile cha kufanya. Even though you have Jesus. Hata kama una Yesu. But you don't know what to do. Lakini hujui cha kufanya. And you think God has left you alone. Na unadhani Mungu amekuacha. No, God is Elohim. Mungu ni Elohim. His name is Adonai. Jina lake ni Adonai. He sees even the secret things. Wana hata mambo ya siri. He knows what you go through. Anajua kile unapitia. And he has power. Na yuko na nguvu. To liberate your life. Kufuweka huru maisha. And I say preach this gospel to you. Na pobii uchume usiku ya leo. The gospel is the power of God. Injili ni nguvu za Mungu. I say the gospel is the power of God. Sema injili ni nguvu ya Mungu. To deliver his people. Kombo watu wake. He say many are the afflictions. Ana sema mateso ya mwenye haki ni mengi righteous ya wenye haki ni mengi not for the wicked ya kuchia wenye wao affliction of the righteous mateso ya mwenye haki but the lord will deliver them from all bwana atawaponya na yote i decree the lord to deliver you in the name of jesus kumbaye katika jina la yesu whatever condition you are in ile hali ambayo uko ndani i speak the oracles of my to god ukweli wa mungu let the lord deliver you Let the Lord deliver you. Let the Lord deliver you. By his power. Let the Lord deliver you. Acha Bwana akukomboe. That which you have continuing kila macho mko kiendelea ndani mwake. A failure of your family. Kuanguka kwa jamii yako. By the weapon of war. Kwa, kwa, kwa sila ya vita the word of god neno la mungu which is a sword of the spirit amano panga wa roho i cut off the link i cut off the link nasema nakata kwa kuunganishwa i cut off the link nakata kwa kuunganishwa every link kila kuunganishwa of poverty ya umaskini within your family bloodline ndani ya jamii yako damu let it be cut off 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 let it be Link of failure. Link of reproach. Let it be cut off. Let it be cut off. Watch it cut away. 
You will build a house and you will live in and you will live long and you will eat the fruit of the land under this anointing I decree that you will stand when everybody is sitting down you will stand in the name of Jesus put your hands together for Jesus Sit down. Get it, Chini. The link of evil. Kunga nisho kwa kiovu, kwa uovu. Even if you try to rise up to do something, ando kijaribu kuinu kofanya kitu. The bloodline. Ile damu ya uko. Who call you back? In this home, katika nyumba hii, we don't build good houses. Hmm? In this home, we don't build good houses. Katika boma hili atujengi nyumba nyumba mazuri. In this home, katika boma hili, huh? In this home. You must listen to elders. Don't you think we were able to buy those cars? Why did we not buy them? We don't do such things. You die. Uh -uh. That I don't have to live good. Because, because, I'm because some people are going to kill me. I'm not a politician. But I must live well. Yes. In that village, go and put a very, very good big mansion. Have faith. What will overcome is your faith. He said, what is it that overcomes the world? He said, even their faith. Your faith. Somebody say, I have a faith. I must challenge my challenges. Huh? You have a faith that will help you to win. It is your faith that will help you to win. Amen. 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 <laughs> but if you have faith in something that is not weak, is, is evil, is not powerful, it will not help you. You must have the true faith. When the Bible says, even their faith is talking about the true faith in Jesus. In Jesus. Faith in Jesus Imani kwa Yesu. will never put you to shame. Kwa aibu. Will never. Wai. Show me one person ni mtu moja. that believed in Jesus li Yesu. and Jesus ashamed the person. Na Yesu Listen, one preacher moja. preached in many days siku and he didn't have a lot of people in the church. Na na watu wengi kanisani. Long time Muda mrefu. He had five, five members. So he used to carry Bible. Go on the street and preach to people on the street. He believed that he doesn't have power. That's why people didn't come in his church. He used to pray seriously. One day, people grabbed him. And they say, you have been preaching that Jesus is alive. He killed the sick. Jesus resurrected dead. Here there is somebody has died. Come. Resurrect him. It's not a story. It's a true thing that happened to him. This man. Is preaching Jesus. He has never seen Jesus. 
He has never seen Jesus. Mwana Yesu. And the truth of the matter, he has never even heard from Jesus. No, kweli wa mambo He is just relying on the Bible. Watu anategemea Biblia. He just opened the Bible and said the Bible says. Anafungua Biblia na sema Biblia inasema. Like some of you kama wengine wengi. You have never seen Jesus. Haujawahi muona Yesu. Some of you have never seen an angel. Wengine mjewahi waona tamalaika. Majority of you have seen demons more than seeing an angel. Wengi wenu mmeona mapepo kuliko jinsi mmeona Yesu malaika. Yeah. You have never seen him. You only okay, rely on the logo. What una tegemea tu kitabu chako? The logo word. Katika ulimwengu wa kawaida. Join the class. Become a student. Amen. Yeah, you are going to help us here. Join the class. Amen. This man when you go evangelism, don't leave him. I told Sharon, this man should not wait. Peter can wait. Callistas and uh, who? This one. They will go with this group of evangelism. Eh? Another day, this man and Peter, where is Peter? Uh -huh. They can go if they want. This one and this one can be changing. But this one cannot change. He must be there. Amen. This one. He must be. Uh, am I, uh, you know, I'm, I'm helping you. Yeah. Logo word, it means the written word. Okay? So so many of you depends on the local words. Kwa hivyo watu wengi wanategemea kwa maneno aliyoandikwa. The word that is written which is the Bible. Maneno ambayo ameandikwa ambayo ni Biblia. The Bible is saying. Biblia inasema. But has, have you ever heard God speaking to you about if that Bible you are saying is true? Lakini umewasikia kwamba Mungu akizungumzia kwamba Biblia ambayo unasema ni kweli? When one day God will rise up and say. Siku moja Mungu atainuka na aseme. All of you Christians who told you that I'm a God of Christian? What are you going to say? If God will say, no, I don't have any Bible that any book that is called Bible. What are you going to say? Yeah. That is why Every believer try to go beyond just logo words. Jaribu kuenda zaidi ya maneno yaliyoandikwa. Navigate in the spirit and hear him. Penyeza katika roo na umsikie. Hear him speak. Msikiliza kizungumza. Sometimes he speak through vision. Wakati mwingine anazungumza kupitia kwa maono. Sometimes he speak through the audible voice. Wengine wanazungumza kupitia kwa sauti. Sometimes he may show you a picture. Wakati mwingine anaweza kuonesha picha. And the majority of the people hear him by the level of his word. Na wengine wengi hapa hivi katika kiwango cha neno lake, wanasikia kwa kiwango cha neno lake. As I'm speaking now, that's how you hear him. Ninapozungumza ndivyo jinsi mnamsikia. There is another level. Kuna kiwango kingine. You hear him yourself voice. Ambacho utamsikia wewe mwenyewe kwa sauti. And not a demon. Na sio pepo. And whatever he would tell you if it is a voice, you will not change. Na kila ambacho atakwambia kama ni sauti akitakabadilika. We have been a confused world. Tumekuwa katika ulimwengu ambao umechanganyikiwa. Christianity that are confused. Kwa katika Ukristo ambao umechanganyikiwa. Where a, a young pastor wakati ambapo mchungaji mchanga will tell you that the Lord spoke to me. Atakwambia kwamba Bwana alinizungumzia. That I should marry Florence. Ya kwamba nikaoe Florence. And because he's a pastor, na kwa sababu ni mchungaji, you believe that God has spoken to the pastor. Na mimi ya kwamba Mungu amemzungumzia yule mtu. And when they marry, na wakati wanaoa, after one year, baada ya mwaka mmoja, they break. Wanavunjika, wanavunja uhusiano. And when you ask him, na unapomuuliza, he tell you it was not the Lord. Anakwambia ya kwamba ilikuwa ni Bwana. I think it was a demon. Nadhani ilikuwa ni pepo, haikuwa ni Bwana. Eh? One day, siku moja, I went somewhere. Nilienda mahali to introduce myself to the mother of my wife and my the parents. Kucheleza kwa wazazi wa mke wangu. We went in the village. Tulienda kijijini. In their home. Kwao. And then they accepted they wrote a letter. Na hivyo wakakubali wakakubali wakaandika barua. That we should continue with our program of marriage. Ya kwamba tuendelee na mpangilio wa ndoa. So when we came in the city, 
Kwa hivyo tulipokuja mjini we took the letter to the pastor. Tukachukua ile barua tukampelekea mchungaji. It was a big church. Ilikuwa ni kanisa kubwa. So we have different levels of pastor. We have pastor of youth. Kwa hivyo tuko na viwango tofauti vya wachungaji tuna mchungaji wa vijana. So we took the letter to the pastor of youth. Kwa hivyo tukachukua barua tukampelekea mchungaji wa vijana. He looked at the letter. Akaangalia ile barua and he he I think he tied it. Na nadhani alirarua. Drop into the basket. Na kaitupa katika ndoo. And he said na kasema you people you just forged nyinyi watu tu mmeweka tu you went there and write it mlienda kule na mkaandika and you brought it here you never go to the village na mkaileta hapa mkwenda kijijini you have not seen the parent of this daughter amjiona wazazi wa huyu binti and one of the funny thing he did na moja ya kitu cha kustajabisha alichofanya he mentioned god alimtaja mungu he said god is leading him that way alisema mungu anamuongoza hivyo and then na hivyo he said uh, we should go akasema kwamba yafaa twende and go to the village twende kijijini well i don't want to give the whole story but that is a point i wanted to bring dio stack in peana did they have lakini hiyo ndio kipengele ambacho anataka nilete so the moment he said god is leading him that way wakati tu alisema kwamba mungu anamuongoza hivyo i knew that every teaching his teaching telling people god is saying nilijua kwamba kila mafundisho ambayo anafunza akisema mungu anasema is a lie ni uongo because kwa sababu truly okay if You meet somebody right now. Kama wewe utakutana na mtu sasa. A member who is coming here. Mshirika ambaye anakuja hapa. And you say why did you come to you didn't come to church? Na umwambie mbona haukuja kanisa. And the pastor will tell you. Na yule mtu atakwambia. The Lord spoke to me that doctor was not in the service. Bwana alizungumzia kwamba daktari hakuwa kwa ibada. That is why I didn't come. Ndipo sasikuja. Will you believe anything he will say again? Utaamini kile ambacho atasema tena? That is the first time I started going back from that place. In the mara ya kwanza ambayo nilianza kwenda nyuma katika sehemu. In my heart. Moyo wangu. I looked at the pastor. Nilimwangalia yule mchungaji. You know, if this man is saying God is leading him this way. Then that means everything that God is leading him is a fake God. Nikasema kama mtu anasema Mungu ananiongoza, kila kitu ambacho anasema ni Brother, na Mungu si wa kweli. Brother. Wapendwa. Do you know why one bishop here in Kenya He had almost 30 40,000 people following him in one church service. Je unajua ni kwa nini askofu mmoja hapa Kenya alikuwa na watu 1030 ama 40 wanamfuata katika kanisa moja? And as I'm speak now if you drop from the airport now and go to the Nairobi city in his church you'll find only people like this. Na ninapozungumza sasa ukipanda tu ndege uende Nairobi na uingie kanisani kwake utapata watu kama hawa. To get 50 people kupata watu wa msii sitting under him and listen to him is a problem ambao wameketi na kumsikiliza ni shida some of you you know the bishop i don't want to touch him on the camera mnajua yule askofu stuck in touch niko katika camera but he lost a lot of people lakini alipoteza watu wengi why kwa nini when he said that god told him that he should be the president wakati alisema kwamba Mungu alimwambia kwamba awe rais. You know when God tells you, wakati Mungu anakuambia, it will happen. Itakufanyikia. Eh? And and they prayed. Na wakao. He said they prayed very well. Wakasema waliomba vizuri. And I heard him say even a prophet from Israel. Na nilisikia akisema hata nabii kutoka Israeli. Called him. Alimpigia. And confirmed. Na akathibitisha. Let me tell you what God does. Wacha niwaambie kile Mungu anafanya. When God speaks the truth, he speaks to you. Wakati Mungu anazungumza kweli na kuzungumzia. That you will become. Ni kwamba utafanyika. Even if you die, hata ukifa. Your child will become. Mwana wako atafanyika. If you, the child die, the grandchild will die. Hata mwana wako atakufa. Mjukuu wake atafanyika. That's how it happen. Even if jinsi inafanyika. But it happen like that if you don't stand on the prophetic word lakini itafanyika hivyo kama hautasimama katika neno la kinabii now in this man if you look at the life sasa kwa mtu huyu ninapoangalia maisha do you see any hope that there is a president who is going to come from that family unaona matumaini ya kwamba kuna rais ambaye anaenda kukuja katika jamii ile no so it means all the things he was telling us that god has said 
God said it was not true. Kwa hivyo inamaanisha vitu vyote alivyokuwa akituambia kwamba Mungu amesema haikuwa kweli. If I tell you here that God has said, don't play games with it. Nikiambia hapa kwamba Mungu amesema msifanye mizana hayo. You see like my declaration in 5 years. Unaona kama kutangaza kwangu kwa miaka mitano. All these people will be leaders. Watu wa kama hao watakuwa viongozi. It's a small leadership meeting I'll be holding all these people. Ni mkutano wa uongozi mdogo ambao nitakuwa nikiongoza. You know I have not told you God has said. Unajua sijiwaambia kwamba Mungu amesema. I'm the one saying. Mimi ndio nasema. The Bible said they shall declare a thing and it will stand. Biblia inasema ya kwamba watataamuru vitu na vitasimama. But if I tell you God said, lakini ikiambia kwamba Mungu anasema, you see the difference. Utaona tofauti. What I say, the devil can fight it, fight it, fight it. Kila ambacho anasema shetani anaweza piga piga anaweza. And when God said it, na wakati Mungu anasema, you line up with God's mind. Unaanganika na mawazo ya Mungu. It will come to pass. Itakuja kutimia. And it will be exactly the way he said it. Na italeta tu jinsi alivyosema. And the voice of God. Na sauti ya Mungu. Open the door for you to go through. Itafungua malango yako kupita ndani. You cannot tell me I heard from God. Wewe niambie kwamba nilisikia kwa Mungu. And you are still living in sin. Na ungali unaishi ndani ya dhambi. You didn't hear from him. Au kumsikia kutoka kwa you must repent lazima utubu if you hear from god any time you commit any error you repent ukisikia kutoka kwa mungu wakati watu wanafanya kosa unatubu that's how we confess hivyo ndivyo jinsi tunakiri because we hear him kwa sababu tunamsikiliza so we have to confess all the time to remain lime up with him hivyo lazima tukiri kila wakati tukabakia sawa na yeye amen amina patterns in your village Mifumo katika jamii katika vijiji vyenu You can break it Mweza mkavunja Bloodline patterns Mifumo ya kidamu ya ukoho The things that follow you vitu ambavyo vinakufuata and they were in the bloodline people Na vilikuwa katika damu ya ukoho kwa watu wa damu ya ukoho The DNA katika DNA We have spiritual DNA Tuko na DNA ya kiroho Where you inherit the DNA of your person who prayed for you ambapo na ridhi DNA ya yule mtu aliyekuombea eh we have that DNA tuko na DNA aina hiyo all of you we, we, nyote the things that follow you in the homes vitu ambavyo vinawafuata kule manyumbani if you don't fight them kama uweze kupigana navyo they will just be there to block you to move Bita, forward bila kodi pale kukuzia kusonga mbele You must do your best. Lazima ujaribu kila uwezo. To make sure you line up with your guardian angel. Kuhakikisha kwamba unaingia moja kwa moja na malaika wako. So that things will become better and easier for you. Ili kwamba mambo yakafanyike mazuri na mepesi kwako. Because of your angel. Kwa sababu ya malaika wako. Is a sign to you. Ni ishara kwako to help you. Kukusaidia. To lead you in the land of opportunities. Kuongoza katika nchi ya mafanikio ya fursa. Angels are the workers of believers. Malaika ni wafanyikazi wa Umini. Anyone that is born of God. Yeyote aliyezaliwa wa Mungu. An angel is assigned to you. Malaika ni ishara kwako. If you begin to learn about angels. Ukianza kujifunza kuhusu malaika, it will become easy to break pattern lines. Ipo parai sana kuvunja ile mifumo ya kiofu. Then we call incarnation. Ipo kuna kitu ambacho tunaita incarnation. So zaza tutatoa wapi hiyo neno kwa Kiswahili? Hebu mzee tusaidie. Incarnation in Kiswahili. What is he say? The rain is falling again here. Eh? Oh Mike, yeah. Give him Mike. Give him Mike. Uh -huh. Thank you. You don't know him. How <laughs> There there. Or oh, anybody who knows that word in Swahili. Incarnation. 
just trying, I don't know, that, but I think it's a gunganishwa. You, you are in gunganishwa, but mandan, but road, that. You know? Uh, to be connected, uh, English, university level, help us. Uh, uh, so you mean, uh, uh, this word, sir? Be connected. Is it connection? Uh, Ruth, if they ask you in where you are doing exam now, what is in connection? Are you going to say that? Uh, Oh, sir, eh, eh, pale. Kimataifa. <laughs> it was this one also. This one has something. This museum. In connection. Yes. Ni ku, eh, ni kama kufanyu wa kwa nafsi indine ambayi ni tafauti. Uh -huh. Yes. Ufanywa kwa nafsi kama ya mwingine. But, but so, uh, the word incarnation, how do you call it in Swahili? No, not explain it. Don't give details. Eh? Don't describe it. Just tell us, what is that word in Swahili? Do we have it? No, it's not there. Oh. That's why you would have to explain it. Okay, for hey, people to know. But, hey, but I, I think in Vile Yesu Sasa Ali incarnation ya Yesu perhaps ya Mungu. Yes. <laughs> yeah, so incarnation. Incarnation. Now I'm teaching. You don't interpret again. You are afraid. Ah, sasa ingekuwa madama angesema hivi. Sasa hivyo vile amesema. <laughs> sasa si unasema hivyo sasa kama imekataa. <laughs> so now incarnation incarnation <laughs> is like taking the same person ni kama kuchukua utu ule ule and make the same person into another person na ufanye mtu huyo hadi kwa kitu kingine hadi kwa mtu mwingine the same person change the same person into another one mtu huyo yeye badilisha mtu huyo hadi kwa mwingine it is the same person ni mtu yule yule but is reformed into another person lakini amebadilishwa kufanyika mtu mwingine for example kwa mfano Elisha incarnated Elijah. Elisha alifanyika alif, ali, alifanyika kutoka kwa, el, kwa Elia. I am just saying example. Ninasema tu mfano. It didn't happen like that. I'm just saying. Tell them it didn't happen like that. I'm Ayu just saying. Hivyo nasema tu. I'm saying example. Nasema ni mfano. So let me use biblical perfect examples that happen. Kwa hivyo acha nitumie mifano ya Biblia timilifu ambayo ilifanyika. In the Bible, kwa Biblia I want to use a perfect example of the word. Nataka nitumie mfano timilifu wa neno. John the Baptist. Yohana mbatizaji incarnated Elijah. Alifananishwa na Elia. Alifanyika Elia. Now are we together? Yes. That is exactly what happened. Uyo anajisa hawa ama namna gani? Kwani unafanya vitu viwili? Bado kuna kitu anakungoja au msaidie. Why is he busy there and when I say something amesahau ameangalia huko? I'm waiting you finish. Have you finished? Okay. Okay. John the Baptist Yohana mbatizaji incarnated Elijah alif, alifanyika Elia Elijah tishibait Elijah mtisha 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 bit mushibi mushibi mtishibi Elijah mtishibi Elijah mtishibi is the same same John the Baptist ni yule yule Yohana mbatizaji You hear that unasikia hiyo The same John the Baptist yule Yohana mbatizaji is the same Tishbite Elijah ni yule mtishibiti Elia the one who was running away from Jezebel yule ambaye alikuwa anamkimbia mbali na Jezebel so John 
the Baptist incarnated church Elijah. Alifanyika Yohana, alifanyika Elia. He incarnated Elijah. Alifanyika Elia. Have you finished? What is it that you are doing? Oh, there is nothing there. These people say it is not there. Oh, you got it. Uh, what is the meaning? Swahili. Is it not what I explained? It is to take over the body of another person. Nikuchukua mwili wa mtu mwingine. Like in the world, in the spiritual world, Kama katika wa kiro, we have a way that if you are not prayerful, tuko na njia ambapo kama uwe si muombezi, a demon can incarnate your image. Pepo inaweza kachukua eh, picha yako. And show up like you are the person, but ne, you are not the one. Ikajionesha kama ni wewe yule mtu, lakini si wewe. It's happening and it's happening and it will happen. Inafanyika na inafanyika na itafanyika. So the plo, the, these things of incarnation it is the same channel of releasing the bloodline effect in the life of people. So the negative things that happen to the same person who died. If the person who built inside your body kama ule mtu anajijenga ndani ya mwili wako you begin to have the same habit utaanza kuwa na zile tabia you begin to behave the same unaanza kufanya kuwa na zile tabia there in africa hapa afrika in many homes katika majumba mengi when people die without christ wakati watu wanakufa bila kristo it's very easy to take over the body of somebody within the home. Ni rais sana kuchukua mwili wa mtu ndani ya mji ule. And the child will begin to grow. Na yule mtoto ataanza kukua. When the person inside is a dead person. Wakati ule mtu ndani mwake ni mtu aliyekufa. Mainly those of you that like to name after the grandfather. Mara nyingi sana ni nyinyi ambao mnafanyika kutaja majina ya watoto wenu that is a continuation of the name of my parents so now your grandfather killed somebody and finally he died and you give back to a young child and you give your baby the name of your grandfather that name Ilo jina open the door of the spirit of a dead person inafungua milango ya roho ya yule mtu aliyekufa to lead the living person kuongoza yule mtu ambaye anaishi so whatever failure that your grand had a fail kwa hivyo zile shida zote ama kuanga mbali kule mtu aliyekufa alikuwa nazo it's going to be evident in the life of this one ile kuonekana kwa mtoto huyu ambaye anaishi that's how people inherit negative evil chains and even the jizi watu wanarithi zile miroa ama mambo maovu Sometimes you may do deliverance. Wakati mwingi waweza fanya ukombozi. And the Lord will tell you if you want to help this one change the name. Na Bwana atakwambia kwamba kama nataka msaidie uibadilishe jina. And when you change the name the person will be free. Na wakati unabadilisha jina yule mtu anakuwa huru. So identify the areas where you may have inherited some negative things. Kwa hivyo tambua maeneo ambapo waweza kuwa mrithi mambo ya kinyume. Remember I started by telling you that a man born of a woman Kumbuka nilianza kuambia kwamba mwanadamu aliyezaliwa na mwanamke is of short days ni wa siku zake si nyingi Can I tell you something Jeneza ambia kitu If your mother aborted kama mama yako aliavia She is a murderer Yeye ni muuaji Am I right Jeni kwa sawa And now she gave birth to you Na sasa akakuzaa wewe she received the pregnancy she aborted. Alipokea ujauzito akaiavya. And now she receive it with you. Na sasa anaipokea na wewe. Now she keep it. Sasa anaitunza. And now she give birth to that. Na sasa anazaa. So the spirit of mother will follow that one. Kwa hivyo roho ya mama itafuata huyo. The fact that you have repented. Ya kwamba kweli ya kwamba ume ume forgiven. Umesamehewa. But the blood is the same. Lakini damu ni sawa. Mnani pata kweli? 
So this pattern is you can pray Jesus many times. Kwa hivyo mifumo hii uweze kuomba Yesu mara nyingi. You can fast many times. Uweze kufunga mara nyingi. And he'll still follow you. Lakini bado zitakufuata. I want to show you something positive. Nataka nionyeshe kitu fulani kizuri. Just one scripture. Andiko tu moja. Hebrews chapter 7. Hebrews chapter 7. Open Hebrews chapter 7. Let's try there. Fungua Hebrews chapter 7 acha tujaribu hapo. Look at verse 8 over 9. Angalia mstari wa 8 hadi 9. Biblia inasema, na hapa wanadamu wapatikanayo na kufa hutua sehemu ya kumi. Bali huko yeye ashuhudiwae. Bali huko yeye ashuhudiwae kuwa hiyo hai. Tena yaweza kusemwa ya kuwa kwa njia ya Ibrahimu hata lawi apokeaye sehemu ya kumi, mm. alitoa sehemu ya kumi. kwa maana alikuwa katika viuno vya baba yake hapo Melkizedeki alipokutana naye okay have you read it now ndio umesoma sasa so he says inasema abraham ibrahimu gave tithe alitoa sehemu ya kumi. he gave tithe alipeana fungu la kumi. the time abraham was giving tithe wakati ule ambapo ibrahim alitoa fungu la 10 melkizedek kwa melkizedek levite was not born mlawi hakuwa amezaliwa levite is a grand grand child or son of abraham lawi ni mwana mjukuu mkuu mkuu wa ibrahim is a grand son of abraham ni mjukuu wa ibrahim are we together Je tuko sawa? Levite is a grandson of Abraham. Mlawi ni mjukuu wa Ibrahim. So now the time Abraham met Elk Melchizedek. Kwa hivyo sasa wakati Ibrahimu anakutana na Melchizedek, Levite was not born. Mlawi hakuwa amezaliwa. And he gave tight to Melchizedek. Akatoa fungu la 10 kwa Melchizedek. And now the Bible says Na hivyo Biblia inasema that in those olden days ya kwamba katika siku zile za zamani when Abraham gave tithe wakati Ibrahim alitoa fungu la 10 the grandson who was born many years later mjukuu ambaye alikuwa amezaliwa miaka mingi baadaye he inherited the giving of Abraham alirithi kule kutoa kwa Ibrahim by being counted by heaven kwa kuhesabiwa kule mbinguni that he has given tithe ya kwamba ametoa fungu la 10 where did the levite give tithe wapi ambapo fungu la mlawi alitoa fungu la 10 Abraham gave it long time Ibrahim alitoa siku nyingi zilizopita I have shown you a secret Nimekuonyesha siri How to change patterns Jinsi ya kubadilisha mifumo See tazama in your home kwenu if things has not been well with your people Kama mambo yaje kuwa sawa na watu wenu You have ability wewe uko na uwezo to change your pattern kubadilisha mfumo wako and give blessing to the children from you na upeane baraka kwa watoto kuanzia kwako and cut off from that which was dominating the home na ujikatanishe kutoka kwa kile ambacho kilikuwa kitawala manyumbani by the knowledge of his word kwa kupitia kwa maarifa ya neno hili because of abraham gave tithe kwa sababu ya ibrahim kutoa fungu la 10 a grand son Mjuku was counted free aliyesabiwa kule huru by inheriting what Abraham did kwa kuridhi kile ambacho Ibrahim alifanya now listen sasa sikiliza if your grandfather was a murderer kama babu yako alikuwa ni muuaji you have inherited the spirit of murder umerithi roho ya uwaji kwa watu you see whatever was happening with them unaona kile ambacho kiliwe kiwafanyikia before you are born kabla usaliwe now that you are born sasa umesaliwa it doesn't mean that it does not follow you haimaanishi kwamba haitakufuata remember what i told you kumbuka kile nilikwambia salvation is in three dimensions wokovu katika sehemu tatu the first salvation ni wokovu wa kwanza is a salvation of the spirit ni wokovu wa roho second salvation wokovu wa pili the soul ni wokovu wa nafsi and the third salvation wokovu wa tatu the body mwili Now you are salvation of the soul. Sasa wokovu wako wa nafsi. It's the one that carry all these things. Ni ile ambayo inabeba vitu hivi vyote. The salvation of the spirit. Wokovu wa roho. 
you are ready to receive Jesus. If you die now, you'll be in heaven. But we are talking about before we go to heaven. We have to be victorious here. We have to overcome here. We have to win the race here. We have to have a solution here. We have to get an answer here. Now, how do you get an answer? By liberating your soul and make your soul receive the victory of salvation in the realm of the soul and it is the one that is connected to the blood that in patterns so it's about recognition recognize what is it happening in our home and get tired with it and turn it upside down. Now we but listen to Chini. One man gave a tithe. Mtu moja alitoa fungu la kumi. And he changed all the families. Na kabalisha jamii zote. That inherited from him. Ambazo ilirithi kutoka kwake. Yeah. Dio. You can do that. Weza fanya hivyo. You can do that. Weza fanya hivyo. Yes, I did. There was an argument somewhere. Jana kulikuwa na kupingana mahali. Whether people are supposed to give tight or not. Kama watu wanafaa kutoa fungu la 10 ya mapana. I saw a very big preacher. Niliona mhubiri mkubwa sana. In America. Kule America. Repenting. Akitubu. Tell him people that he used to tell people to give tight. Alikuwa akiambia watu ya kwamba watoe fungu la 10. That it was a lie. Ya kwamba ilikuwa ni uongo. That tithing is a law of Moses. Ya kwamba kutoa fungu la 10 ni sheria ya Musa. It's a Mosaic law. Ni sheria ya Musa. How many of you believe in that? Wangapi wanaamini hiyo? And he was repenting. Na alikuwa akitubu. Then I decided to listen to him. Na nikaamua kumsikiliza. The way he explained. Jinsi alivyoelezea. I know he doesn't know. Nilijua kwamba hajui. So he was taking money from people in the name of tithing. Kwa hivyo alikuwa akichukua pesa kwa watu kwa jina la fungu la 10. Without teaching them the truth. Bila kuwafunza ukweli. Hmm? Where we have read you can see that Melchizedek lived many years before Moses. Am I right? And there was no law of giving tight or giving any law. Any law. There was no law. Na kukuwa na sheria yote kutoa na kukuwa na sheria yote. God never gave a this man called Abraham. Mungu akumpa mtu huyu ambaye anaitwa Ibrahimu. A law. Sheria. Huh? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Abraham lived many years. Ibrahim aliishi miaka nyingi. Before Moses, kabla ya Musa. The laws was given to Moses. Sheria zilipewa Musa. If you study the covenant we call Mosaic covenant. Ukisoma ile maagano ambayo anaitwa maagano ya Musa. Is where the laws are granted to Moses. Ni mali ambapo sheria zinapewa Musa. If you talk about the laws, you're talking about Moses. John chapter 1. Verse 22. Open there. Verse 22. Bibile nasema, Kwa kwa turati ilitolewa kwa mkono wa Musa. Nema na kweli zilikuja kwa mkono wa Yesu Kristo. Thank you. English. For the law was given by Moses, but grace and truth came by Jesus Christ. I think I have confirmed to you. When you talk about the laws, you are talking about Moses. If you talk about grace, you are talking about Jesus. Now listen. Jesus Yesu existed many years before the law. Alikuwa siku nyingi kabla ya sheria. It is the grace ni Nehema that gave the law ambaye ilipeana sheria to Moses. Kwa Musa. That's the truth. What did I say? The grace 
Nehema and truth na ukweli came by Jesus ilikuja na Yesu but the law lakini sheria was given to Moses ilipewa kwa Musa now Abraham kwa hivyo sasa Ibrahim gave tithe to Melchizedek alipeana fungu la 10 kwa Melchizedek before the law was given to Moses kabla sheria ipeane kwa Musa that means hiyo inamaanisha tithe is not mosaic law fungu la 10 si sheria ya Torati the mosaic law which is a tithe is called priestly tithing Sheria ya ya kitoroti ambayo ni ni ya ni ya sheria ni inaitwa sheria ya kikuhani. The priestly tithe which is a mosaic law. Fungu la 10 ya ya kikuhani ambayo ni sheria ya kitoroti. The people should carry their drinks and their their offering and whatever they come with it at the gate of the church. Watu lazima bebe vile vinywaji ama vile vitu ambavyo watakuja nami wakileta kanisani. And they give it to the priest. Na peane kwa kuani. And the priest will receive. Na kuani atavipokea. On behalf of the widows. Kwa niaba ya wajane. And all the, the, the other people who are the orphans. Na watu wengi wale ambao ni, wa, ni mayatima. And the strangers. Na wale ambao ni wageni. And the people who eat at the gate of the church. Na watu watakula malangoni pa kanisa. The people who eat their own tight. Watu watakula fungu la komeza wenyewe. Within the gate of the church. Katika malangoni ngo ya kanisa this mosaic law hiyo ni sheria ya torati was given as a priest ambaye ilipewa kwa kuani it is called priestly giving inaitwa sheria ya kutoka kwa kuani that is given to priest ni fungu la 10 ambayo inapeana kwa kuani the one we are talking about lakini ile ambayo tunazungumzia is based on faith imeangalia imewekwa kwa imani faith goes beyond moses imani inaenda mbele ya msa abraham Ibrahim gave tithe to Melchizedek alipeana fungu la 10 kwa Melchizedek kwa imani and you are a child of god by faith that wewe, comes from Abraham na wewe ni mwana wa Mungu kwa imani ambayo inatoka kwa Ibrahim and that is why na ndio maana Jesus was crucified Yesu alisulubiwa and he was hanged on the tree na akawekwa msalabani so that through Christ ili kwamba kupitia kwa Kristo you that believe in Christ wewe ambaye unamwamini Kristo you receive the blessing utapokea baraka of Abraham za Ibrahim not of Moses sio za Musa not of the prophet sio ya nabii yote the blessing of Abraham Ibrahim ni baraka za Ibrahim. The blessing of faith. Ni baraka za imani. The blessing of faith. Ni baraka za imani. So you are giving tight. Kwa hivyo unapeana fungu la 10. Not because it is a law. Si kwa sababu ni sheria. You are giving tight because you believe in God. Unapeana fungu la 10 kwa sababu unamwamini Mungu. It is a giving of faith. Ni kutoa ya imani. It's not a giving of the law. Si kutoa ya sheria. It is beyond the law ni zaidi ya sheria Jesus is the grace Yesu ni neema The law was given to Moses Sheria ilipeana kwa Musa But before Moses was called Lakini kabla Musa aitwe The grace was there Neema ilikuwa pale But it was not revealed Lakini haikuwa imefunuliwa Even though the olden people Hata kama watu wa zamani experience it Waliona Before Moses was born Kabla Musa kuzaliwa Some people think Kuna watu wengine wanadhani That the grace was introduced in the New Testament Ya kwamba neema ilitolewa kwa agano jipya The grace was there from the beginning Agano neema ilikuwa pale kuanzia mwanzo At the time of Noah na kwa wakati wa nae wanu Biblia inasema Noah found grace in the eyes of God Noah akapata akapata neema machoni pa Bwana Even the wife of Rachel Na hata maisha ya Rachel The wife Rachel Maisha ya Rachel Rachel the wife of uh, Jacob Raheli mkewe Yakobo The Bible says Biblia inasema Rachel found grace in the eyes of God Raheli akapata neema machoni pa Bwana And the Lord has compassion on Rachel Na Bwana akamwonea Raheli huruma Grace was there Neema ilikuwa pale Before the law was introduced Kwa plan sheria ikaletwe So you are not giving because it is the law Kwa hivyo upeani You are giving because you believe in God. Kwa sababu unamwamini Mungu. Somebody shout amen. Mtu sema amina. Can I hear amen? Sikia amina. Shout amen. Sema amina. So, so Kwa hivyo, sasa. Sasa. Do you know one giving? Unajua kutoa moja. Can break the pattern. Yaweza kuvunja mfumo. Yes. One giving. Kutoa moja. Can break the pattern. Yaweza kuvunja mfumo. Hmm. Just one giving. Like When you give your heart to Jesus. Kama Jesus nawe peana moyo wako kwa Yesu. Rock permanent the pattern of debt in eternity. Ulivunja kwa kudumu misingi ya mauti. So you will not go to hell again. Kwa hivyo hutaenda tena jehanamu. You will go to heaven. Utaenda mbinguni. Hey, clap for Jesus. Pikia Yesu makofi. Yeah, clap for Jesus. Once you give your heart to Jesus. Wakati ule ulipeana moyo wako kwa Yesu. 
you must be in heaven. Lazima utakuwa mbinguni. You want to test it? Unataka ujaribu? Die now. Kufa sasa. You will be in heaven. Utakuwa mbinguni. We'll be dancing here. Utakuwa tukitoka kicheza hapa. When you are already in heaven. Wakati uko mbinguni. You want to die now? Unataka ufe sasa? You can go. Come I greet you. Kuja nikusalimie. You don't want to go. Utaki kwenda? You still have something to do here. Ungana na vitu vya kufanya hapa. Ask your neighbor what is it that you are doing? Uliza jirani yako ni nini ambayo unafanya? Tell somebody you better find your way and go. Ambia mtu ya kama apata njia kwenda. You don't want to go. Hautaki kwenda. <laughs> you have something you are doing here. Uko na kitu unafanya hapa. God will favor you. Mungu atakupea kibali. You will go on the appointed time. Utaenda kwa muda uliowekwa. Not now. Si sasa. I still need you. Ningali na kuhitaji. Yeah, I still need you. Ningali na kuhitaji. I still need you. Ningali na kuhitaji. There are some people don't want you. Kuna watu ambao hawakutaki. They say he better go. Wanasema ni yeye aende. Anyone that want you to go. Yote ambaye anataka uende. You bury that person before you go. Utamzika hiyo mtu kabla uende. Yeah. So look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor you better wish me to remain. Kwa hivyo angalie jirani yako ambaye kwamba Nita, nita manishi, yeah, you better leave, le, le, wish, wish to remain because if you want me to go Kwa hivyo, kama unataka mimi niende I will bury you nitakuzika I will come on your altar nita, in the grave nitakuja kwa buri lako So greet somebody and tell somebody wish me good Kwa hivyo salamia mtu ambia mtu wish nita, me life nitakia mazuri nitakia maisha Now I, I have finished Kwa hivyo nimemaliza But I want to tell you one thing Lakini nataka niwaambie kitu moja One giving kutoa moja can break the pattern yaweza kuvunja mifumo which giving aina gani ya kutoa for example kwa mfano this one of noah hii ya sheria this one of noah hii ya nuhu he says inasema he gave to god alimpa mungu eh the pure sacrifice sadaka iliyo safi selected bad good birds alichagua ndege wazuri animals, wanyama wazuri and he sacrificed to the lord na akamtolea bwana and what did god said na mungu akasema nini he changed something alibadilisha kitu and that thing he changed permanently na hicho kitu alibadilisha kabisa <laughs> one seed begu moja do you know that among all the things we are doing je unajua ndani ya vitu vyote ambavyo tunafanya What is able to move the, ma- the heart of God is giving. Kile ambacho kinaweza songeza moyo wa Mungu ni kutoa. Now when I talk about giving people think about money. Even napozungumzia kuhusu kutoa watu wanadhani ni pesa. Open your mind and understand that giving doesn't talk about money only. Kwa hivyo fungua moyo wako elewe kwamba kutoa haihusiana hata sana pesa. But generally it is a word giving. Lakini kwa ujumla ni neno kutoa. One giving kutoa moja moves god inaanza msongeza mungu and it is a giving that moves him na ni kutoa ambaye inamsongeza mungu than any other giving kuliko kitu kingine now what type of giving kwa hivyo ni aina gani ya kutoa a giving that you give as worship kutoa ile ambayo unaitoa kama ibada that one terminate everything hiyo inageuza kila kitu and return everything no more na inarejesha kila kitu kawaida eh yeah. Just one powerful giving. Kutoa tu moja ya nguvu. Who did it? Nani alifanya hivyo? When Noah did it, wakati Nuhu alifanya. The Lord said the whole world, all the days of the human beings life, I will never destroy the world again. Bwana alisema kwamba kwa ulimwengu wote siku zote za mwanadamu sitawahi aribu ulimwengu tena. With the floods. Na mafuriko. You see? Unaona? Now, sasa <laughs> What happened? Nimefanyika. So that God can reverse his word. I thought the Bible said that God does not change. I thought that nobody can move God's heart. That when he speak, ya kwamba anapozungumza, he cannot change. But there is a weapon. Lakini kuna silaha that you can use and move God's word. Ambaweza tumia na ukasogeza. Even though he is God, he will change. Hata kama yeye ni Mungu atabadilika. Giving, kutoa. What type of giving? Aina gani ya kutoa? Sacrificial giving. Kutoa ile ya kama adhabu. Yeah. Yeah. 
if I would have good time because kama, the time is over kama ningekuwa na muda mzuri kwa sababu muda umeisha we are supposed to be here only 15 minutes ya watu wetu hapa dakika 15 But the time is over now. Lakini muda umekwisha sasa. Because it's only 15 minutes you are supposed to sit here. Kwa sababu dakika 15 hapa. But I want you just to mention. Lakini nataka tu nitaje. What did he said? Nini ambaye amesema? I just want us to read the scripture nataka like that. Nataka tusome maandiko. Look at uh, Genesis. Angalia mwanzo. Is it, is it chapter 6? Look at chapter 6 read from verse 8 let me hear there is something i want to check there i want to show you something Biblia nasema lakini nuhu akapata nehema machoni pa Bwana You have heard it eh Ndio umesikia hiyo So you believe now the grace was before Kwa hiyo naamini sasa nehema ilikuwa kabla ya Musa Yeah the word nehema is also talks about grace Jina nehema inazungumzia kuhusu The word kusu. grace is nehema in Swahili Okay. Yeah. So now, kwa hivyo sasa look at that scripture again. Ah, uh, lakini nu akapata nehema machoni pa Bwana. Now before that, go back. Read verse 5. Bwana akaona ya kuwa maovu ya mwanadamu ni makubwa duniani na kwamba kila kusudi analowaza moyoni mwake ni baya tu siku zote. Uh-huh. Bwana akagairi ya ku, kwa kuwa amemfanya mwanadamu duniani. Mnaelewa hapo kweli? Bwana akaona kwamba ma yote yanaendelea na mwanadamu ni maba? mabaya siku zote. Bwana akagairi. Nani anajua neno kugairi hapo inamaanisha nini? Bwana kajuta kwamba alimuumba mtu. Fikiria hivyo. Yaani uliumbwa ai najuta kwamba niliumba huyo. Sasa angalia. Bwana akajuta. Sema akajuta. Alafu akasema nini sasa? Akahuzunika moyo. Alafu akahuzunika sana. Alafu akasema nini? Bwana akasema. Bwana akasema si Mungu akasema msisahau mafundisho yangu. Bwana akafanya nini? akasema akasema nini nitamfutilia mbali mwanadamu nitamfutilia mbali mwanadamu nilie muumba usoni pa nchi usoni pa nchi hilo neno ni nani amesema bwana bwana ndiye amesema sawa sawa bwana anasema nini atafanya nini atamfutilia mbali mwanadamu na si neno lake si ameshasema na hakuna mwenye anaweza kuzuia sibaisha hivyo sasa ni nini ilifanya Bwana akakataa akawacha kufanya hii neno. Alisema nitamfutilia mbali. Sasa nini ninafanya Mungu akagairi ile neno hakulifanya. Hebu soma 8:22. Ah. Uh, Biblia muda um, soma 21 basi waelewe kwanza. Bwana akasikia harufu ya Sasa sikia. Bwana akasikia nini? Harufu ya kumridhisha. Ehe. Uh-huh. Bwana akasema moyoni. Sasa nataka muelewe kwamba ile neno alilolisema alikusudia moyoni mwake kwamba atafanya nini? Atamfutilia mwanadamu kutoka uso wa nchi. Anajuta kwa nini alimuumba? Akasema nitafanya hivyo. Lakini mtu akaamuka asubuhi akatoa sadaka. Hiyo manukato ikaenda ikapeja ikapenya mpaka moyoni mwa Mungu. Maandiko yanasema akasikia harufu ya manukato moyoni mwake. Soma hapo tena. Bwana akafanya nini? Uh, Bwana akasikia harufu ya kumridhisha. Nilikuwa nafikiria kwamba amesikia na mapoa. Kumbe endelea. Bwana akasema moyoni. Akasema moyoni mwake, eh? Sita ilani nchi tena. Sita ilani nchi tena. Hilo neno aliposema moyoni mwake likaondoa ile lana yenye ilikuwa imepachikwa pale Ehe. na hayo kwa sababu ya wanadamu ati kwa sababu wanadamu amenikosea <laughs> sasa kwa kinywa chake hiyo maneno umesoma ilikuwa anasema kwa moyo si umesikia akasema moyoni mwake sasa kwa kinywa akasema nini 22 muda nji idumpo Ehe. Majira ya kupanda sasa kupanda na mavuno na mavuno 
wakati wa baridi na wakati wa hari wakati wa hari wakati wa kaskazi na wakati wa kusi mchana na usiku mchana na usiku havita koma havita koma god has a program Mungu, word to bless his people mungu amepangilia neno lake kubariki watu wake unaweza inuka kwa boma lenu na ufanye kitu kwa boma ambayo italete baraka kwa wote amina Watu watakuita mwenda azimu, takuita mtu ameharibika. Nimeona wapendwa ambao wamebatika kupata wahubiri mjini. Alafu mtu anaangalia kwao na analipa gharama, anapeleka mhubiri kwa boma. Wanafanya ibada zingine ambazo si za kawaida. Ukishabadilisha hiyo, watu kwa hiyo boma wanaanza kufaulu. Unaona? Nimeviona hiyo vitu. That is how you can change the patterns. Hivi ndivyo jinsi unaweza badilisha mifumo. You can break the patterns through the commitment. Unaweza kuvunja mifumo kupitia kwa kujitolea. Uprooting the things that were planted within your home. Ukangoe vitu vilivyopanwa katika boma leo. In your village. Katika kijiji chenu. In your bloodline. Katika damu yako yenu ya ukoo. You stop them. Unazikomesha. I will not follow you. Azitakufuata. You stop them. Unazikomesha. In our home kwetu i have never seen sijawai ona oh my sisters dada zangu wote i never saw any girl coming pregnant before they marry sijawai ona binti akija na ujauzito kabla aolewe i never saw sijawai ona i started seeing nilianza kuona from the children of my brother kutoka kwa watoto wa ndugu yangu if you follow that na ukifuata hiyo You will find that there is a reason why it started there. Utapata kuna sababu kwa nini ilianza na ndugu yangu pale. So now majority of them. Kwa hivyo wengi wao. This one, nigera nyumbani nauliza, huyu ni wa nani? Basema ni wa fulani. Na huyu, huyu ni wa fulani. Na huyu ni wa fulani. Na huyu ni wa fulani. Na wote ni watoto wa mama mmoja. Sasa hiyo pata ni imeanza kuwa na hata watoto watakuwa wakishakuwa wanakuwa wakubwa alafu pia wataolewa alafu pia wataanza kuzaa katika hali hiyo kabla hawajafunguliwa hmm? Sasa inaendelea na hiyo na maboma inakuwa maboma ambayo hayana misingi hayawezi kusaidia Watu wanaanzisha misingi ya maboma yaliyo dhaifu ambayo haiwezi kupingana na udalimu ulio sahi Inakuwa ni shida kwa watu wengi. Hizi hizo patterns ni mbaya. But unaweza panda kizuri kitokee kwa watoto wako. Upande kizuri kibadilisha wajukuu wako. Upande kizuri ili we ukiondoka wawe na amani, wawe na mahali watasimama. Haleluya. Sasa mimi nataka mkusudie kubadilisha maisha yenu kutoka sahi mbele yako. Yaani usiangalie nyuma. Yaani uangalie mbe. Na uangalie if this will take me kama hii ndio itanigarimu kubadilisha kesho. Afadhali nilipe hiyo gharama nibadili nibadilishe. Amen. Ah, ah apostle waja tu tuko sawa. Bora tunaenda mbinguni. Ni hivyo? Si mnaona maisha yenye mnapita ni magumu sana. Struggling. Maisha ya kungangana. Madeni uziseme. Yanakalia watu kweli kweli. Wa Kristo mpo. Tunaweza kujiondoa ndani. Jumapili ijayo. Sema Jumapili ijayo. Nilisema ile nilifanya last week ilikuwa ni msingi na nimewafundisha hii vitu mambo ya patterns kufuatafuata watu hata waliokoka wanafuata na hizi vitu sana ya yeah. unapigwa vita tu unaamke anaenda na umeokoka utafanya nini si itabidi wewe mwingine <laughs> si kweli jamani ama namna gani wa mama sasa mimi ni mhubiri mke wangu huyu akienda. Mimi na hao tena. Eh? Nauliza mimi nakaa tu hivyo. Sio wewe tena. 
Yaani kwa vile sasa ameenda ah maisha yangu asi maisha hivyo sasa ninaoa sasa hivyo sasa ni wanaishi tu. Eh sio wewe tena? Awe sienda. Awe O saindi awezi. O yani yani akiseka ndio aendi sasa. Alipandwa. Sili kwa nawambia in case. Oke okay, basi, waya tutumia zasa mwingine basi. Mana mimi. For example, wewe mse. Nani, nani mse mwenye uka hapa? Zasa? Ana muke hapa. Kwa mfano mse wako, muke wako wakienda. Unaowa tena? Kulingana na maisha. Iyo yu maisha hivyo. <laughs> hey, Maze watu wanaumia wana. Eh? Sasa. Utakuwa na kula kula inje. <laughs> eh? Hey. Wewe pia unafunga chapter. Watu wa Mungu hawa. Mambo ya maisha bwana. Mimi niliona mahali ambapo mke wa pasta alienda. Washirika wakamhurumia, akamwambia mtu wa Mungu itabidi uoe. O watu Ndiyo nilikuwa na uliza muke wa pasta kienda. Pasta na oa ama haoi. Sio mimi. Mina sema pasta. He? Nalingana na miaka. Nalingana na miaka. Muke wa pasta kaenda. Aowe ama asioe? Asioe mzee? People like who? Muke waka alienda? Muke, muke wa Paul alienda unajua? Ya. Yeah. Muke waka alikuwepo. Lakini alienda bada e kwa mua kufuata Kristo. Na Paul hakuwa tena, sidiyo? Sasa, Paul anasema, lakini kama una neema kama yangu, badala ya kuwaka tama. Uwe. Pasta na bagi kama kisu O kama yesu Na wajua si yesu Yesu wa Yesu wa kuwa na nini Ama yimu na fikiri yanga alikuwa na ye? Sasa kia. Nyinyi munaona vile munaongea hapa. Inaonyesha munaitaji seminar za mafundisha ina hizo. Hey, kuna vitu kama hizo munaitaji kujua. Ili mwelewe kiundani kabisa. Sasa ini kesi pasta mubiri ameenda kawa mwingine. Sasa ataenda minguni ama ataenda. 
Ataenda. Ataenda mbinguni. Aende. Anaenda. Ro ndinaenda. Hawa mama wa Paul hawa ndio nadhani niwasikia. Hao wenye waongee hao. Nyinyi mbona semaje hao? Nyinyi amuongee hapa amenyamaza. Wana semaje hapa. Chengo. Wewe sasa ni mzee wetu hapa bwana. Nimesikia wewe nataka kuoa mke watatu sasa. Sasa chengo akioa mke mwingine baada ya kuamini Yesu hapa. Andaina mbinguni ama aende. Ati ataenda. Simama tuombe. Eh? Solomon hayuko jahanamu. Hata Daudi hayuko jahanamu. Na waliona Yesu kwa mwili kweli. Walikutana neema hii ya kuokoka. Eh? You know mikono juu. Sema Bwana Yesu. Mambo ya bomani na ya damu yanayofuatana na mimi ndio maana na tapa tapa kwa kufanya maamuzi kama nitaenda mbinguni ama sitaenda Mungu nisaidie ninaungama dhambi na makosa nisaidie niwe miongoni mwa watu watakaoingia mbinguni nisamee dhambi na makosa Yafute majina yangu katika kitabu juu ya hukumu na mauti andika jina langu katika kitabu cha uziba mambo ya ukoo mambo ya damu matatizo ya boma katika DNA yanaweza kunizuia nisiendelee maishani na yachoma sasa na yakatisha sasa na yaondoa kwa jina la Yesu chomeka minyoro ya nyumbani minyoro ya ukoo katika kwa neno la Mungu upanga wa roho katika katika Every link ambaye imeshikana na mimi kupitia kwa majina yangu ama jina la mwisho kuanzia saa hii na ikata katika nikisema katika mnasema jina la Yesu katika katika kila mnyero Sema kila minyoro minyoro ya ukoo katika 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 minyoro ya madeni minyoro ya madeni toka vunjika katika katika Aya kila mtu taja jina lako mara saba. Shout, usitaje polepole. 
inua sauti sema mimi fulani mara saba haya mara ya kwanza mara ya pili mara ya tatu mara ya ine mara ya tano mara ya sita mara ya saba haya toka ndani 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 jiondoe 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 fungua sauti yako jiondoe fungua sauti yako jiondoe fungua sauti yako jiondoe fungua sauti yako jiondoe 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 fungua sauti jiondoe wewe ndio unajua yale mambo ambayo yanakufuata unajua yale yanatendeka bomani mwenu na pia yanaonekana katika maisha yako jiondoe jiondoe shakata la baribo kanta la bariando in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus in the mighty name of jesus jonda wendani jonda wendani marosa uko mambo ya kufuata fuatwa na ndoto za mauti ndoto za madeni ndoto za kurudi nyuma ndoto za kurudi misri ndoto kwa kuru, za kurudi kwa maboma mali ambapo mlikuwa mnasoma unaota kama unarudi kule jiondoe kwa hizo ndoto ondoa hizo nguo za zamani hizo nguo za zamani jiondoe vua hizo vua vua hizo mavazi taja jina lako la kwanza taja jina la tatu mara tatu jina lako la mwisho lenye litanishwa la uko sanem litaja mara tatu moja mbili tatu ulikuja shika moto una shout unatakana kwa shout moja mbili tatu haya 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 hilo jina hilo jina likombolewe hilo jina lifunguliwe hilo jina liondolewe liondolewe kwa madeni liondolewe kwa magonjwa liondolewe kwa kulaana za ukoo liondolewe kwa kuolewa na kurudi kuolewa na kurudi liondolewe kwa watoto kutosoma liondolewe katika ukoo wenu liondolewe katika patani za mambo yaliyopita liondolewe 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 watu kwenu hawakujenga nyumba za maana liondolewe utajenga 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 liondolewe 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 pakala baribuku oh Nataka ushauti mara ta, mara saba jina Yesu. Unatamka jina lako la mwisho, unasema mimi fulani fulani nataka kuwa huru. Unashauti mara saba. Eh? Tayo! Baba, nataka kuwa huru mimi tayo. Nataka kuwa huru. Mimi tayo, nataka kuwa huru. Mimi tayo. Nataka kuwa huru. Yesu nisaidie. Aya. 
One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. I have seven. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Aya, make your way on the altar now. Ukitembe ukija, utaku unatoka kwa mambo ya nyumbani uko. Sasa unatoka kwa ilo uko. Sasa come, come, come. Sasa you are making your way from the past. Sasa munatoka kwa mambo ya zamani vile munatembea hivo. Iyo ni action. Iyo ni prophetic. Sasa ume move. Una move. Vile tu na kuja hivyo sasa unatoka. Kuja tu wana na watoto wote. Kuja kabisa kuja kwa madhabao. Kuja kwa madhabao. Kila mtu wa memovu kutoka mala lepo. Sasa kuja 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 kuja. Kusha fika. Aya sawa sawa. Santu. Mandiko na semo utaweka mikono juu wa gonjo watapata afya. Sasa weka mkono moja juu yako. Na mwingine wekelea mtu mwingine wako garibu na wewe. Wekelea mtu mkono wa mwenye karibu na wewe. Na muna hiyo, na muna hiyo. Eh, make sure mkono wako ngini wameweka kwa mtu. Hata kama ni mtoto, weka kwa mtu mwingine. Aya. Baba, katika jena la Yesu Kristo, mwana wa mungu wa lihai, ni mawatangazia hawa watu wako. Hawa watu, Wananja wana kiu ya kukujua Hapa Mombasa umewapanda Kwa muda wako wazima Umeweka hapa ili kwamba waweze kuishi hapa Na ku earn life Kufaulu katika inchi hii ya mpawa puani Lakini yako mengi ya naofuata Ya nazuia ya napigana maisha yao Patanis of life Mambo ya mabomani kwao Mambo ya mamba ambao wazazi wao walifanya Na hawao hawajui Mamba ambaya mepandwa katika maboma yale wanaishi na wayo hawajui. Mamba ambao wa umezao waliafanya wakiwa vijana, wakiwa umekuja kuwa owa, wakachangia magumu kwa wakezao. Au wake wakachangia magumu kwa umezao na imekuwa ni ngumu watu hawa kuinuka kimaisha. Baba kwa rehema zako ni natangaza kama mtube waondole watu hawa iyo aibu ya misiri. Wafungue watoto wako wawe huru. Na watangazia kwamba aibu ya misiri imeondolewa. Aibu ya misiri imeondolewa. Aibu ya misiri imeondolewa. Aibu ya misiri imeondolewa. Mara ya tano aibu ya misiri imeondolewa. Mara ya sita aibu ya misiri imeondolewa. Mara ya saba aibu ya misiri imeondolewa. Yafute machira yao. Katika vitabu vya watu kungangana. Yafute machira yao. Kutokana vitabu vya watu kusumbuka katika maishani. Maandiko inasema watu wangu wa wataibika tena. E baba ni naomba watu hawa. Hawataibika tena. Katika jina la yesu. Mwana wa mungu alia hai. Umewaleta kwenye madaba uhaya. Wacha madaba uhaya yu wahudumie. Na wafungua wa mama hawa. Na wafungua wa vijana hawa. Na weka huru wa toto hawa. Every pattern catch fire. Every pattern catch fire. Evil padlock open up. Evil padlock open up. Evil padlock open up. Open up, open up, open up. Open up, open up in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Kila kifuli kiyovo. Ambacho watu wamefunga majina yako. Wamefunga njia zako. Wameshikilia nyuele zako. Walikata nyuele zako. Wakafunga mali. Na fungua yu kifuli. Kwa damu ya mwana kondo. Kwa damu ya yesu funguliwa. 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 In Jesus mighty name. Na watangazia watu wa mungu. Marosa kulazwa. Poka. Funjika. Marosa kupambanya maisha. Funjika juu ya watu hawa. Na panda. Pando jipia. Na panda mamba makufanikiwa maisha ni mwao. Na panda roho ya kufaulu. Na panda roho ya kukutana na mamba mema. Na panda roho ya kufungua minango yao. 
Napanda mambo mema juu ya maisha yao, juu ya watoto wao, juu ya kazi zao, zilete faida. Wale wanaofanya biashara iwalete faida. Chochote ambacho watu hao wanafanya na watangazia kufanikiwa, na watangazia kufaulu, na watangazia kuinuliwa in the mighty name of Jesus. Makata na baribu shende. Riba baba fakotele beribu boshanda. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Shikilia kwa kichwa nataka kutangaza anga yako iwe huru. Natangaza anga yako iwe huru. Nataka ni kutangazia anga yako iwe huru. Anga yako iwe huru. In the mighty name of Jesus. Nataka anga yako iwe huru. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Katika jina la Yesu. Jitayarishe, jitayarishe. Nataka kuachilia mafuta. Nataka kuachilia neema ya kukufungua. Nataka kuachilia kibali. Nataka kuomba Mungu akusaidie. Watu wanasemanga nilienda kwa mtu wa Mungu akaniombea. Nataka niwaombee mchana wa leo katika jina la Yesu Kristo mwana wa Mungu aliye hai. Kama vile umeweka mikono yako juu ya kichwa chako, ndivyo maisha yako inafaulu. Ndivyo nyumba yako inafaulu. Ndivyo kazi yako itafaulu. Ndivyo maisha yako ya kiroho yanabadilishwa. Ndivyo anga lako linafunguliwa. Ndivyo mipaka yako inaondolewa. Ndivyo vizuizi vinaondolewa. Ndivyo manara za kuzimu zinaondolewa. Na ngoa ndani yako maroza kushindwa. Na chomoa ndani yako maroza adamu wa kwanza. Na chomoa ndani yako maroza kupambanya maishani. Na chomoa ndani yako Toka, 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 toka Achilia watoto wa mungu Achilia watoto wa mungu Achilia watoto wa mungu Achilia, achilia kanisa ni wehuru Achilia wazee wa wehuru In the mighty name of Jesus Baba, please, upepo wako wa baraka juu yao Police, upepo wako juu ya watu hawa Puliza upepo juu ya watu hawa. Puliza upepo fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh anointing. Fresh oil. 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 Baba kujasa na roho mtakatifu. Ah, poke rom takatevo, poke rom takatevo, poke rom takatevo. Let the spirit of God move and change the life of men. Come on, come on, poke, 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 poke. Power is coming upon you. Kula gobo sa mungu sila kujaju yako, gobo sa mungu sila kujaju yako. Ma foot and your high, ma foot and your high, ma foot and your high. But receive, 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 receive. 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 Shakala baribo. Power is coming upon you. Kuna nguvu sinakalia njuele yako sai. Wala mbao meshika mikona enu kwa vichwa. Kuna kitu kinaenda kutendeka kwa juu ya kichwa chako. Utasikia roho ya mungu kitembea juu yako. Mafuta ndiyo hayo Mafuta ndiyo hayo na achilia Na achilia uwezo wa mungu Kwa fungua kutoka katika pata ndi za zamani Hamta rudia hizo tabia Hamta rudia hiyo masumbuko Hamta rudia kaya kiyo kungangana Hiyo roo ya kungangana ni mekatishwa Hiyo roo ya madeni meondolewa Imechomalewa kwako Katika jina la yesu Receive 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 the wave of the spirit. 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 The power of the spirit. Receive. 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 The power. The power. The power. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Aya, wake up, Mikona, I'll tell you. 
Sema Bwana Yesu. Na kushukuru kwa uaminifu wako. Ninaomba unisaidie. Niishi maisha. Yatakayoonyesha utukufu wako. Niondolee roho za misiri. Kila pattern katika damu yetu itakasike. Ikatishwe ile miungano ambayo iliunganishwa ya uofu inayonitesa katika maeneo ya hela maeneo ya kazi maeneo ya biashara na maarifa duniani Mungu nitetee watoto wangu wasiaibike nyumba yangu isiaibike mimi ni mtoto wako nihurumie bwana andika majira yangu katika kitabu cha watu watakaofanikiwa watu watakao faulu watu watakao toa ushuda watu watakao inuka nami ndiko tayari nitakupatia utukufu e Mungu unisaidie amen piga makofi juu ya kichwa chako shangilia 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 ulishindwa kwa sababu muda wako ulikuwa bado lakini sasa muda umekaribia ushindi ni wako ushindi ni wako utashinda utashinda pokea imani ya kushinda pokea imani ya kushinda pokea imani ya kushinda receive the grace of victory in jesus name nenda kaketi sasa katafute sadaka nzuri kamtolee bwana tafuta sadaka Katafuta sadaka nzuri mtolee bwana In Jesus name Nashukuru kwa ajili yenu nyote Naamini kwamba kuna watu wamebarikiwa katika nyumba hii na ibada ijayo ya Jumapili itakuwa ya faida sana kwenu. Kwa hivyo nawaombea Mungu tukutane katika hiyo ibada. Amen. Kama unaweza kuja, kama wewe unaweza kuchukua nafasi ya kufunga wiki hii, jaribu kufunga funga. Wale mnataka kuona Mungu, tafuteni Mungu wiki hii. Maana hiyo wiki Jumapili itakuwa ni kiakisha kwa charo wa Mungu afanye kazi juu ya watu wake. Alafu tutaona kile Mungu atafanya katika maisha yenu. Hallelujah. I say hallelujah. I say hallelujah. Hake, okay, utalete sadaka hapo na Mungu atakubariki. Hiyo sadaka itakuwa hiari mtolee Mungu wako. It is a worship service. What is that? Nai Gani Ukitaka okay, envelope ya tithe ndio hizo Unaweza chukua Thanksgiving whatever case you have in Jesus name Maliza. Iso unapeana ni za sayama watoto wa wiki ijayo. Oh, haya waya tunangoja, tunangoja tuombe Mungu kwa ajili yenu. <coughs> Adonai bwana wangu, 
Nakuwa budu kwa rona kweli Na kusujudu mungu wangu Poke asifu Adonai buona wangu Nakuwa budu kwa rona kweli Na kusujudu Wale wanatoa ndio nangojea wakimaliza ndio tuombe Adonai bwana wangu na kuabudu kwa rona kweli na kusujudu ni yeju pokea utukufu wote na sifa Umestaili Yesu uliyechinjwa kupokea utukufu na sifa Umeninunu kwa damu yako Yesu pokea utukufu na sifa Adonai Adonai bwana wa Nakuabudu kwa rona kweli na kusujudu ni yeju pokea utukufu wote na sifa Adonai bwana wa na kuabudu kwa rona kweli na kusujudu Mungu wangu pokea utukufu wote na sifa Nadani wameisha Amen Nadani wameisha si ndio Amen sasa ako wapi yule msichana anaitwa Edith? Eh hey, kuja. Umeziana kila nikimtaja anatetemekanga tu. Anaogopa, anafikiria amefanya makosa. Wanga si makosa, asingira ni mzuri. Shika hii. Chukua hiyo. Eh. Hey, weka kwa kichwa. Anyosha mikono kwake. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Kama vile umebeba hiyo sadaka kwa kikapu ndivyo watu watakutwika mamilioni ya pesa kwa kichwa In the name of the Father the Son and the Holy Spirit Sema ize Haya milango ya baraka ifunguliwe kwa kila mmoja ambaye ametoa sadaka zake hapo Ninachilia mafuta kwa hizo mikono iliyotoa Watoto waliotoa watasoma hawatakwama school fees Wazazi waliotoa watalipa school fees na watalipa rent zao na watakuwa na hela za kuendesha maishani na fungua milango yenu ya pesa kama vile ameweka kikapo cha pesa kwa kichwa ndivyo magunia ya pesa mtatwika kwa vichwa vyenu kabla amjaondoka dunia hii mamilioni ya pesa itawafuata katika jina la Yesu Kristo nimetabiri amen haya asante mpelekee yule Unaweza enda sasa. 